Mm. Hello, everyone. Hey. All right. So, welcome to Dragon Memoria. Uh, for those of us joining us for the first time, greeting. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Uh, for those of you coming back, well, welcome back. It's a pleasure to have you with us again. Um, and for those who might be wondering what this is, because you, I don't know, click on the first live stream that you could see, well, this is a live stream with a group of people playing Dungeons & Dragons. So if you're not into that, we're very sorry, but unfortunately, it's all we're gonna do. All right. So, uh, as you can see, there is one screen that doesn't have anyone in it. Uh, don't worry, he's going to be here very soon. He just had to go and get something yeah. done. Don't worry, internet is not throwing us a tantrum for that. this time, at least, not that we can see. All right, so, last episode, the party finally decided to uh, explore the Tourne Woods, uh, where they had heard they may... Uh, Oh wow! There's some. Uh, you can even you, you can even hear the uh, sound of the leaves crunching as the party moves <laughs> through the forest. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> sorry, I just couldn't resist. <laughs> Got some free sound effects going here. Yeah, yeah, it's oh, good. Yeah. It's good. Problem is that we're uh, the party is at the bit of, uh, almost at the beginning of summer, so it's. Uh, but you know, you never know. Some leaves might have. Yeah, my sensitivity just not sure. <laughs> That's all right. All so as I was saying, the party decided to adventure into the Tournay Woods to find a legendary creature, or at least locally legendary creature who might have actually been causing problems for the inhabitant of the small village of uh, Torn. As the party was exploring the forest, they soon realized that the situation might actually be more complex than they were, far, were first led to believe. Um, their investigation revealed that where there might actually be a large creature living in the woods, however, it had been wounded, and since it was most likely an elemental creature, it most likely had been wounded by magical weapons. And as they started to leave the forest, following tracks and believing that staying near where sheep were would have yielded greater results for their search, they realized that the creature wasn't responsible for the attack, it was goblins. They quickly made their way to one of the pasture where they heard sounds, uh, mostly screams, both from humans and sheep. They found themselves in front of a goblin raiding party uh, for the first time, Valtteri showed the group the nature of her abilities as a druid. And in a very D&D classic moment, the only one who actually understood who this new creature was is the one who has so far been missing every single intelligence role made. And... They managed to finish the fight, victoriously. Um, few minor injury, few minor injuries. Sorry. And now they are looting the bodies uh, where, just before the stream ended, they had found a very peculiar dagger on six uh, of the um, four. Sorry, four of the attacking goblins. A red dagger, or rather a dagger with a red blade, seemingly made out of crystalline material. Uh, the dagger was about a foot and a half in length. Uh, for those like 
Valtteri and me use centimeters, it's roughly 60 centimeters long. So it's uh, almost a short sword. And this is where the party, well, this is where the stream ended with Trevor taking his things out to ritually cast an identification spell. And this is where we are. Valtteri is just transformed back, back, sorry, into her tiefling self. Yeah, and the audience just promptly removed me from her. <laughs> With ease. <laughs> and, uh, Dude, you're fucking up the fun. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where we left off. <laughs> it, it, it's, in, it's the middle of the night for the characters. So it's, you know, they're all tired. They are easily start laughing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll just sit down and just say, just keep an eye out if anything comes up. I'm not identifying all four of these. They look identical, I'm assuming, so... Um, uh, mostly, yes. Uh, like I said, yeah. they seem to have been hand-carved in uh, red crystalline material, but other than that, they all seem identical. All right, yeah. I well, will say I'm just going to identify the one for now so we can at least get an idea, because I'm sure whatever this one is... I'm sure the others are identical, so we'll just go from there. And since they want, since Toby gave it to me and kind of wanted me to check it out now, I guess I'll go ahead and spend the ten minutes to identify one of them at least. Hey. All right. So, meanwhile, Trevor is starting his, his ritual cast of Identify. Um, Toby, Ashi, Valterian audience, what are you doing? You have ten minutes before the results are in. Um, well, first thing I do is um, start looking at my wounds, and uh, I'm going to go into my um, my pouch and take out my um, one of my potion of healing. All right. Oh, yeah, you did take a beating, didn't you? Damn. Valtari, your microphone is too Kinda soft. Kind of quiet. <laughs> That's seven, uh, seven. All right. Just had it at seventy, and now it's at thirty. What the fuck? Ah, uh, yes. Like I'll I said, have to. I'll have to work with you. There's got to be like an auto level setting that's yeah. turned on somewhere. Uh, I remember a few years back, my father had the same problem uh, with his nephew. He kept because when they had children, uh, his one of his well. How do you call the child of a nephew? Anyway, uh, he kept wanting to talk with his. Um, well, not grandparents, but anyway. Uh, so he kept having the same problem with uh, his microphone. The sound kept going down. I don't know how he solved the problem, but... Oh, I noticed it that when I'm muted for a longer time, it happens. So, huh. And what I was saying is that I push away the potion of Toby so he doesn't have to use it and use... Q wounds. Oh, uh, okay. Well, the, is, uh, how much is that? Uh, 1d8 plus 4. Okay. Valtteri, you're the one who's supposed to... Yeah, I was like, you gotta remember that. Right. It's your spell. <laughs> he wanted to know what it is. I yeah. Think he, I oh, yeah, just told you know. him. He still might want to take a potion on top of it. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my d8? Just pours all the dice out and like that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever rolled the highest, yeah, that's the one I'm using. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a seven plus four, oh. eleven. All right, so you can just oh, add the health. difference. Thank you. Uh, and You're you welcome. can put back the potion in your inventory. Okay. Uh, well, actually, I'll hand it to Valtteri. So, uh, thank you. Um, uh, this is to repay you, I guess, and I'll hand I'll it to her. Push it back. No, we're in a group. I'm the healer. I'm here for that. <laughs> well, I mean, I have four of these, so, well, yeah. <laughs> and while Trevor's uh, doing that, he'll just quickly yell out, we both have our own. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. 
Oh, maybe I'm once not near you, so keep them. Maybe you will need them one day. Okay. Um, uh, I'll put it back in my pouch mm -hmm. and uh, start making a fire. All right. Uh, meanwhile, uh, does anyone pay attention to what is going on around you? I was actually about to ask the two while he is still doing um, his well casting. They, well, they are. Well, I told everybody this. to I'm keep a really look around, anything, so. so I'm kind of. I'm, I'll look around. I'll be looking around while they're kind of doing this because I'm not. Yeah, up to I told everybody to keep an eye out while I'm doing this. So I hope somebody would look around. Okay. Um, is anyone assisting audience, or is he doing this alone? I'll touch um. his shoulder and give him guidance. <laughs> Very well. All right. Audience, yeah. roll a perception. Yeah, just roll. making a fire still. Make sure oh, everyone's perception. warm. All right. You're very and close to the town, you know, uh, to the village, you know. <laughs> yeah. And you'll get a uh, that's, a, that's a nine. Oh, plus a d4. Yeah. Yep. That's a 13. 13. All right. Nice. Um... Oh, uh, not a lot jumps at you during the night. Uh, you look around, try to figure out, and, all right, well, it's with a raid, uh, maybe there might be someone else, but you don't see anything. Uh, you, at one brief moment, you th believe that you see, that you saw something move um, uh, near the woodwork, uh, or, well, are, where you were just before, um, but it was too brief you weren't able to see if it's just wind an animal or something was actually there but just as you were panning around you sort of oh mm, all right well maybe not you know you're not sure okay i'll kind of relay that i don't really see much i'm not really sure if i see anything Alright. Um, while um, Trevor's still doing his ritual, I'm gonna ask the other two. Um, should we now go after the elemental again, or should we just go to the town and say that we killed the goblins, or just. Uh, I, I think I, I don't know. I think going back to town is the better thing. <laughs> At least yeah. tell them that some of the goblins are gone, but um, we might need to deal with the whole cult in general because they keep attacking this town, it seems. Uh, I mean, those goblins could have been just following us, you know. Mm -hmm. Doesn't really mean that those goblins from the cult have been here now the whole time but it's true it might be also just the cult terrorizing maybe not only this but even other little towns I'm honestly confused <laughs> well I don't really understand cults so <laughs> So like same, um, look at audience, no, actually. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Um, I was wondering, why would they be attacking that, that he, well, not saying they were, but um, do you think they'd be attacking that creature for some sort of a magical power or a, the essence of the being? Uh, out of character? Oh, DM, I don't, I don't do what do I roll, should I roll for, like, knowing about elementals, if they have a power or something you would gain if you kill them? Well, you already made several roll uh, okay. about the elementals during the forest. I think so, I got an 18 or something. Yeah. Uh, so based on that, of course, a powerful magical creature um, can easily be harvested by... Uh, knowledgeable wizards and people like that for a spell component um, and Trevor did notice uh, 
residual, residual magic, meaning that the uh, blood sap of this elemental probably has magical properties. Um, so there is that possibility. Um, of course, living wood can easily be used in a variety of ways for primitive culture. Um, uh, shaman would easily be able to use that probably to craft a uh, weapon or stronger than normal uh, armor. So there's mm -hmm. a wide variety of uses for this. And uh, I'd say also roll a intelligence roll. Straight, uh, straight uh, intelligence. Yeah. Eighteen. Eighteen. Um, you remember uh, the villager saying that the original legend of this creature says that the creature was protecting protecting the town. The town. So. Oh. They could also have attacked it because it was trying to protect the village. That is also a possibility. That makes sense. And it's kind of sad thinking that the town then started to hate the creature. <laughs> um. So I look at Toby and... Um, well... <laughs> depending on how that cult is, yes, if they are, have a shaman in, uh, under them, they can use its, well, I guess you could say, body <laughs> and a wood of itself for weaponry or armor and a strong wizard who has a lot of knowledge, can use it for spells, out of blood, can be used for spells, and... Yeah, uh, they can, and... The town said that a long time ago that creature protected them, so... Maybe they wanted to get rid of it? get the protector of the town away? Trevor, you're muted. Yeah. Just seeing that as soon as I started talking, but yeah, as he's richly cast in that, does he, got a, does he got a good enough perception where he could pick up what she's saying while he's doing this, but and just not say anything to break his concentration there? Let me check. Uh, passive perception uh, is... 13. 13. Um, well, you're all, all sitting... I'd say pretty close to one another, so yes, uh, you uh, you would hear that uh, as they're talking. Okay. And I'd say okay. uh, your ritual cast will probably is probably ending right now. Okay. So as you hear so saying all this, um, <laughs> you hear you get the, the uh, knowledge of what this weapon is. Um, like I said, it's a dagger. Uh, it has a. It gives a small advantage to someone trying to attack, uh, meaning it has a plus one. Um, yeah. But it also has has one property, and this comes with the name that it has. Uh, it is called a blood drinker. Whomever is wounded by this, whatever is wounded by this. Um, if it has blood, the dagger will drink it, store it inside of itself. Uh, the blood can be released with a command word, and the blood will just pour out, as if you opened the bottle and just started uh, pouring the bottle out. Um, it can store quite a lot of blood, making it very useful for people who want to kill someone without leaving trace but also very useful uh, in many ritual mostly bad ones where you have to use blood because while the blood is stored inside the dagger 
it will not coagulate it will remain liquid oh huh. interesting okay yeah as he finishes i might like, they'll pass all that info along and say um it looks like we got four of those. Um, I don't know who all can use daggers, but the bonus to attacks might help who can. Melee is not really my thing, but uh, but if you guys don't mind, this might have some use for some spells later on down the road. I'd like to keep one for myself. <laughs> huh? You're quiet again. Your microphone is so... Get <laughs> 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 better? Yep. A little yep. <laughs> um, I don't know if I just should, like, get out of one of my daggers and, like, call it out. <laughs> so I'm just standing there, like, yeah, I, I can't... I, I have daggers. <laughs> Yeah, they say, well, we have four of them. And I'm almost certain they're all identical. I'll, I can identify the rest before I go to sleep tonight. If, I mean, to be how, certain, but... How about if each of us gets one? That's fair. I was thinking more Toby, because he would probably be the most melee and dual wielding, but I'm not sure exactly how monks fight. I know they use their hands a lot, so I'm not sure. I don't want it. I refuse it. Okay. Um, Wait, so yeah. we'll keep three and see maybe if we can sell the fourth somewhere down the road. DM, Somebody can I, will have an interest in it. Can I sense bad, uh, bad from the dagger? <laughs> Um, I like to call it bad choo-choo, even though it's not choo-choo. <laughs> um, well, Trevor, you didn't sense anything bad coming from the dagger. It doesn't have an yeah. alignment. I just, yeah, um, I just know it could be used for bad purposes, ritually yeah. and stuff, sacrifices and stuff. But yeah, but it's and he'll, he'll mention that, you know, I guess. It was used during the night, so it might actually have blood inside it right now. Um, Do I know the command word from identify? Uh, usually yes. So I'll say okay. yes. You have. Uh, All right. Do you actually have a command word prepared, or do you want to send that to me later? I'd I, I, I write that down. I use command words and stuff, you know. So. All right, all right. Uh, I'm, actually... I'm not that good at creating words from other language, especially arcane ones. Okay. But I'll come up with one if you, uh, if you okay. actually use yeah. them. Just DM it to me, and I'll, yeah, or just post it in the group chat there, and we'll all have it for later. All right, all right. I'll think about this. Can I, I, like the, I like that extra flavor with the stuff. Sure. You know? I'll speak the command word, blah, 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 and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have an empty dagger? I don't want to have a dagger that's filled with. Yeah, I don't know. Can I tell? Can I tell if they're empty or not? Uh, no, actually. If after identif after identifying. Uh, after identifying. Um. Shake it and listen if there's <laughs> liquid inside. See if you hear any sloshing inside of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's probably a good thing right now that we don't have that many viewers because that would probably become a mem for something later on. Um, oh, trust me, I'll clip it. Yeah, there you go. Shake the dagger. Yeah. <laughs> See if it makes slashing sounds, yes. Um, well, actually, there isn't a way to know how much there is inside. Uh, but you would know that the color is uh, brighter if it uh, if it actually drank uh, blood. So you'd say yes, all the daggers have blood. Uh, but since you haven't seen what the color is supposed to be when they're empty, you don't really have a point of reference to know if color changes sure. if they're more or less. Yeah, At this moment, I'll say after I identify them, if you don't want blood in it, I'll speak as command word and empty it out. Or I give it to you. At this moment, I walk away. 
and um, <laughs> I'm going to keep a lookout on the perimeter. I say nothing. Toby, Toby's all creeped out. It's like, yeah, no. <laughs> this is not good. Dad, you're drinking blood. Yeah, sure. I've heard stories about those things. Huh. <laughs> I guess the party's okay with it, but I'll have no... Uh, no. Sure, it always ends well. Uh, all right, so if you want to uh, pay attention to what's going on uh, around, I'd say make a perception roll. Wow, the disappearing dice. This is why I have more than one of each. <laughs> you have to use perception, not to cast invisibility. <laughs> <laughs> I think that more be more like a misty, misty step. It just teleports away. Fourteen. Fourteen. Um, it's no, you don't. Um, you don't perceive anything more than what audience has said. Uh, you, you also have a vague feeling of someone. Sorry, some, <laughs> try to compress two words together that they uh, that shouldn't be. Uh, you do have the feeling that something is watching you from the woods. Um, but you can't see it. That's okay, about um, it. Well, I will uh, tell the rest of the group that after I uh, kind of look back and make sure that nothing's happening with the daggers over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Trevor, you actually give the <laughs> command word to empty one of the dagger. Yep. I'll just do the one that I've already identified. I wasn't going to do the others till I got back to the town. Right. So. Uh, so you speak the command word, and suddenly the blood just falls out as if someone had just poured it in a bowl and just turned the bowl around. <laughs> it just flushed on the floor, uh, well, ground. Um, Did it seem like... Did I get the sense that it was like full, half full, or anything? Do I get uh, any kind of yes, indication from, uh, how much storage it does? Say, um, pretty full. Uh, it is uh, easily two pints of blood that just falls out uh, without warning, just as if the, it just materialized and. <laughs> <laughs> so it splashes on on the ground. All right, he'll just say. Hmm, interesting. And he'll just give it a little twirl and hand it hilt first to Valtteri. <laughs> Here's your blood like, anchoring dagger. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm like still looking for a few seconds at the floor like, what the fuck? <laughs> then I uh, look up to you and uh, thanks <laughs> and take the dagger. No problem. And... Yeah, it, audience, if you want yours, I'll identify it and empty it later. Or if you I want to am, keep the blood, up to you. <laughs> I, I honestly would not like a small dagger like that. I, I'll leave those two. Yeah, I didn't really think it was your <laughs> thing. But, okay, well, I'll keep one for myself and we'll, I'll, we'll have two to sell. I'm sure somebody will be interested in these somewhere. Question. Yes. To put them in my inventory... Should I just put a free on to my daggers, or is that a special dagger? Hold on. Um, that would probably be a special dagger. Uh, sorry, I didn't create it in uh, D&D. Okay, yeah, that's why I was just going to do a search for it to see if mm. you actually created one. So, yeah. Okay. could always create one later, and I'll search yep. and add it. <laughs> well, that's going to be fun. I'll, I'll make a custom one myself because it could be sh it could be shared with the group anyway so no, well no, if, if you're all going to keep uh, at least one for a long term yeah sure i'll i'll make one in the ndb on so you can actually have it uh, in your inventory on yeah. the ndb Tre on. Trevor, trevor's got some ideas for that later on down the road <laughs> my dnd beyond reflexes are not uh, as sharp <laughs> as it could be i am still very used to using pen and paper <laughs> Yep. Well, I'm very well versed in it, so if you need any help, just let me know. I can walk you through it. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. All right. Uh, so, for now, uh, Tobiyashi has made a small fire. Uh, you are hey. basically setting fire to a grazing field. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, uh, 
about that time, Trevor starts walking around it, just kind of like kicking a trench in the grass there, you know, making a little a dirt circle around it to keep it from catching the whole field on fire. Good idea. Yeah. Um, yeah, I come back to the group. Um, I see the blood on the ground. I'll avoid that. And um, I, I walk up to everyone and I like a... So, uh, I don't know. I don't see anybody at the moment, but it doesn't... It feels like we're not alone. Hmm. I think we should start heading out, or... Unless any of you guys want to do anything else here. Uh, no, I'm good. Uh, like yeah. I said, I'll identify mm-hmm. the rest when we get to town and do our rest for the evening, so... Well, right now okay. you are. About Can we see the town? The I mean, how midnight. far is it? Okay. It's probably around midnight, one in the morning. So, exactly like you just did. Yeah. You're probably all yeah. a bit tired. Uh, audience already has one point of exhaustion. And all yeah. of you, um, well, you've actually exa- exerted yourself quite a lot. So I should have made you uh, force you to make another uh, constitution save a bit earlier, but since Trevor, you're muted. <laughs> I didn't get the result. <laughs> Natural twenty, so I'm good. Natural twenty. Yes, you're very good. So Tobias and Vatari, constitution. We're getting ready to rest anyway, so. <laughs> uh, well, that's a natural one. Natural one. Oh so shit. So he takes two. <laughs> <laughs> Got like Critical seventeen fail, on right? me. Well, I did get injured a lot, so I mean, <sighs> I'm I got to heal beforehand. I'm, so. I'm only going to give you a um, one point of exhaustion. However, I am going to give you a penalty for the next roll that you're going to make, unless we okay. Stick. What saving throw are we making? Constitution. Constitution. Okay. Against exhaustion. Okay. That's 14. No, you take one point of exhaustion. Where do I put that? In condition. In c- conditions, yeah. Ah. Conditions, and it's down at the bottom. Just click the one. Ah. So, uh, everyone in the party is starting to feel the exhaustion of having stayed up for an entire day and most of the night. Also, having to fight and cast a few spells. The only one being Trevor, who seems to be used to working late during the night, researching for spells. <laughs> Study it. I yep. mean, to be honest... Nothing new to him. <laughs> to be honest, he didn't even have to run around. He was on my back while I was running. <laughs> I let everybody else do the work. I just stuck out my hand and cast spells. <laughs> <laughs> He's still on the adrenaline high of riding a wolf for the first time. So, you know, yeah. exhaustion has not set in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I will well, say uh, that... I will say that was cool, but yeah, we need to go back to town. I need to see if they have any herbs or uh, incense or anything. The fuckers killed my bird. I need to get him back. Are we <clears> still <throat> able to get into town, or the door, or like the, the gates closed? It's, it's it's not a walled village. Oh, okay. Yeah, village are a very tiny rarely village. <laughs> it's very Not rare it. that you'll encounter a village that is actually uh, defended by walls. Oh, okay. How well, far can we there. see the town? I mean, yes, yes, like, yes. Okay. This is this is the closest grazing field to the town, so you okay. might be something like fifteen minutes of walk from the town. Okay, all right, let's oh, go. Jesus, why the hell were we doing it out here in the middle of the freaking field? Then you know, <laughs> we could have done it back in town. Trevor will stand up. And say, let's get back in town, you know, and and do a rest or you know, take the night off, rest of the night. All right. Mm-hmm. Because I sure would rather rest there than here, so. Um. Yeah. Uh, well, no, I talk to, to Trevor be... and say. Okay. Wait, what? Oh no, yeah, I talk oh, to Trevor and say, uh, uh, I think we need a little light out here. It's a uh, dark. <laughs> I. <laughs> He'll take one of the daggers, cast his light cantrip on it, and stick his hand out to hand it to Toby. <laughs> Um, okay, never mind. I don't need any light, and I'll start to head into the front. 
And the light that is cast by this dagger sort of has a creepy red <laughs> red hue wow. to the light that it spreads. <laughs> it's basically like casting light inside a glass object which has a color. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll I'll lead the path for you. I'm not going to be able to throw it too far, but he'll take that dagger and throw it ahead there. So Toby will have a light source ahead of him. And then when he walks Good up job. to it, he'll pick it up and just throw it again. All right. <laughs> it, it, it sort of feels Since like... he's so scared of it, you know, ooh, spooky dagger, you know. <laughs> when you look at it, it sort of gives the feeling of when you're playing... Probably Diablo or um, World of Warcraft, and you've been injured, and uh, your screen starts getting yeah, red. Yeah, you got that little red hue around the edge there. Yeah, you're walking, and slowly everything starts getting red as you approach this dagger on the ground. T Toby, little tip: I also have fairy fire, which also can be used as a light source. Wow. <laughs> if you want to give everybody advantage against you, you know, it can make you light up. But everybody has an advantage against you. <laughs> they make it you. All right. So, All right, you so uh, yeah, we'll lead. You easily find your way to town. It is yep. close by. And as we're walking, you know, Trevor's still on his high from riding that freaking wolf, but he'll just kind of put his arm around Mouse and that was fucking awesome. We're going to make a great team. <laughs> She's kind of like, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not expecting a compliment after all of that, but uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that was, but that was badass. The others might have been a little freaked out, but I had the basic understanding, so I knew what to expect. But yeah, keep that up. That was great. <laughs> I mean, goblins taste awful, but thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't expect so, but yeah, you know, yeah. You know, do what you have to do. I, it won the I, fight. Did I even wipe away the blood around my mouth? You never said you had. Oh. <laughs> this is okay. why. Well, this guess, is why audience said looks like you already started eating. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I guess while we're doing that, I guess Trevor would at least notice that because she can't really see herself. She'll take the end of her scarf that she's got there, just kind of wipe her face a little bit, just wipe the little corners of her mouth there, you know, just, you know, wipe away what little blood she has there. Because of that, now you realize that you probably look like a predator who has just ate his prey. <laughs> Good thing he did that before we went into town because the people there would probably freak out. <laughs> Yeah, a yeah. Little in my mouth. Glad I glad I caught that on our walk here. So yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> right. I would have noticed a while ago, but didn't say anything. I just barfed a little. I just it's fine. <laughs> just got up so. far enough ahead where he's out of vision and just. Now yeah. we know why he left and didn't talk to me. Yep. <laughs> he had yeah. to deal with between that the dagger image. and the blood. Just. Just grossed out in general there, yeah. <laughs> and I had a goblin in your mouth still. <laughs> Little. <sighs> and this weird smile while she was holding it as a wolf. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You make me seem like a crazy person. <laughs> what do you mean, seems like? Might be, yeah. <laughs> we don't know each other that well yet, you know, we'll see. Time will tell. <laughs> Yes, I instead. <laughs> I'm not nice. I'm just crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're a tiefling who enjoys can, spending time in nature. And. Yeah, I... yeah go ahead. <laughs> no, no. No, no, that's not a big deal. I'll just say I can relate to that in my own way there. You know, you know crazy, but yeah. You know, you're, you're a tiefling who likes nature and who has just been revealed as enjoying to run naked in the field. Why what? Well, the wolf doesn't have any clothes on, so technically while you're in wolf form, you're naked. Uh, 
I have fur. Yes, but it's still naked. Well, if you see a wolf, would you call a wolf naked if it was really naked without fur or even if it has fur? Naked means it doesn't have any clothes. So every single animal you meet in nature is naked. Not your naked. <laughs> Sorry, I was talking to my cat. <laughs> Maybe my character is secretly a nudist. Who knows? Well, animal form. It started. You really started well on that path. All right. So you easily get into town. Um, middle of the night. Of course, there's light inside the inn, as an injured town member was probably rushed there to have his wound treated. So there is light inside the inn. Um, not a lot of light in the street. That's about what you see. Mm. Mm. Uh, well, I'd go up to the bartender. Or, um, right? We're in the yeah. tavern or what? Are we? No, you better, we just well, in the town? you just entered into town, but if you okay. want to go straight to the, uh, to the inn, yeah, sure, you... You don't have to search every pebble on their way. That's what I was thinking. I'm kind of tired, so I'd go straight to the tavern. All right. Kind of just ran after a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> so you all make your way into uh, the tavern where you find light. And um, as you push the door open, you see that there are a few people there and uh, someone is treating the wound of the injured uh, villager. So you see that, you see the one that was guarding with him, you see maybe five or six people. One of them is uh, treating the wounded villager. So most likely what passes as a physician for a village. And a few other people, most likely those living uh, in the inn as the innkeepers. Him, his wife, maybe children they have. And they all see you entering. In what order do you enter this tavern? I'd go first heading straight to the bartender or the tavern owner. All right, who enters behind Toby? Ashi? I'll enter behind. I'll enter behind Toby. Okay. Kind of just like. <laughs> Trevor, you're muted. muted. Again. Yeah, Trevor, you're muted. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm just saying, that. yeah, that that makes sense because me and Val was walking together because I was complimenting her on her wolf form and cleaning her face before we got to town, and also, yeah, let's <laughs> say so went by me bringing up the rear. All right. And I'd say Valtteri in last. L looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's right. shyer than I am, so yeah, she'd probably wait last. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So, Tobiashi, you enter into the inn first, and everyone looks uh, toward you. Of course, uh, you notice um, a few surprised look, but immediately when you enter... Um, one of the person looking at you has this air of acknowledgement on his face, uh, remembering who you are, and immediately asks, What happened? What? Did, did you kill the creature? Did you kill it? Um, uh, sir, I'm going to have to inform you that it was a no creature, it was um, a goblin. You hear a woman's voice echo this. Goblins? But... They, they, goblins don't shred animals like this. Did they, they usually just take them and leave. Did they, they probably to eat them. They don't mutilate animals and leave them there. Oh my god, um. I just had... Um, I don't have the specifics on any of this right now. I'm a little 
tired at the moment. Um, if you have any more questions, uh, take it with him. And I point to Trevor over there. I just, I just had, had oh my god. You had a revelation. <laughs> That is interesting. So, Trevor, you hear oh. Tobiashi points toward you, and at the same time, you hear behind you, oh, goodness. I'll and, bow to oh, them and then leave. God. <laughs> <laughs> so, Trevor, everyone's looking at you right now. <laughs> Expectantly. All right. All right. Well, he's like, well, he'll pull out one of the daggers. Does, does this look familiar to anybody? As this is going on, I secretly go get my room in... Um, Right. <laughs> Tommy's like, I want to stay far away from this shit as I can here. <laughs> <laughs> so you ask the innkeeper for a room for the night. Um, yeah. He looks at you, he looks at Trevor and the dagger and says, Yeah, yeah sure, uh, take whatever room you want. Uh, for, for what you just did, uh, you can stay here for free tonight. Um, I'm still gonna pay him a, a copper piece. All right. So you leave a copper piece, a copper piece. Okay. Sorry. On the yes, and then um, I'll go. Uh, surprisingly enough, there are no occupied room right now. <laughs> so you can All choose right. whichever you want. All right. So Trevor, uh, what explanation do you give? Well, I'll just you know, explain that it was just a bunch of goblins, you know, and what we encountered and that they seem to be involved with this cult of the hunter, you know, and see if any of that rings a bell with them, you know. Uh, does, do you know anything of this cult? And, uh, you know, we dealt with them back in... Ah, shit. I don't want to look at my notes, but you know the te the main the port city, you know. Uh, the port city of Sitian. No, that's, that's the island. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Sitian. Talking to yeah. the guy like, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that freaking big city way back there, you know. <laughs> um, one, one person inside the inn actually reacts uh, when you say the hunter. Um it's the the physician who actually stops uh, bandaging the poor villager, uh, who looks pretty mangled, uh, not to the point of not be able to recover, but you know he's oh. probably going to be stuck in bandages for a few days. Yeah, I had the AFK for a second. I didn't catch it. Is that does it look like the same one that was running from the goblin earlier during our that fight? Is, okay, yes. yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Just want to make sure. If I he, if I use cure wounds on him, would it make it better for him to heal? Or as far as you know, yes. Do you have spells left? Yeah, I have two. All right. So I'll, go ahead. While they are talking, I'm just passing by Trevor and. <laughs> Heal this poor man. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor, like, oh yeah, I remember you. Yeah, they were chasing your ass down. Yeah, you got lucky. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, I don't know how much damage he took, but I just rolled a whole eight, so he gets twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Uh, well, you t you speak the magical words. And you touch the poor fellow, and he seems to completely heal. Uh, the physician was slowly bandaging him, and suddenly, while he's answering Trevor, looks at the wound, and there's sort of a look in his face. Oh, god damn it. I'm doing nothing now. Yeah, and Trevor at the same time would just be like, yeah, we saved your ass. Yeah, we showed up at just the right time. You're lucky. And you see the villager looks at Valtteri and say. I can see that. It was a bloody fight. <laughs> oh, yeah, imagine I didn't quite get everything there, yeah. <laughs> so the, the, physician, the physician tells you that, uh, yes, yes, I've heard about this cult. Uh, I've heard they've been running around causing trouble throughout the island. It's... Uh, They've, they're slowly gaining a lot of followers, um, especially in uh, 
less civilized creatures society and but also they've been aiming their efforts to convert people toward those who have been uh, abandoned by society um, mm -hmm. it's easier to enroll them make them believe that they're following some sort of helpful de deity for them hmm. it's a lot easier yeah, about to that time Trevor will <laughs> just speak up so yeah that sounds kind of familiar and just give a nonchalant glance back at audience there <laughs> but uh, oh, you can continue though <laughs> I just wanted to say that just as he said it, you know. <laughs> uh, so the physician looks at you and looks at audience and he says, I, he's not part of their cult, is he? No, 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 he's not. Okay. He, <laughs> and he just kind of leans in and softly whispers, he has his own cult. <laughs> oh... All right, well, as long as his doesn't involve trying to murder people, uh, it's probably a better one. Um, so, yes, we've been having problems throughout the island. Right now, they're not that big, but they're probably one of the cults who is gaining the most uh, followers rapidly right now. Huh. Does any is there any way we can find out any information on their leader by chance because he's becoming a real pain in our ass really quick? Um well in major cities you will most likely be able to find uh more information. Um of course uh Yeah, I understand. Of course if you can find bards, a lot of them carry quite an impressive arsenal of stories, myths and legends with them, so they, they can also be a very good source of information. Um, but otherwise, I'd say aim for large cities, towns, especially trading towns, um, because they have a lot of passing people, you might actually get information. Um, but it's a bit of a gamble. Uh, in large cities, capital cities, there's one maybe two or three days from here, uh, further inside the, the island. You most yeah, likely uh, would be able to have more information there. Okay, yeah, Trevor had mentioned that we're kind of heading, I think it was northeast towards the garden or whatever, and just ask, you know, if we're going to pass through any major cities along the way there. Ah uh, well, of course, if you follow the uh, merchant road, uh, you will go through uh, the last uh, trading town of this uh, duchy, and then you will enter in the next one, where there is one more uh, trading town, if you follow the merchant road, and then you're going to get uh, there, to the, uh, to the capital city of, the, of our good neighbor. Okay, I'll keep that in mind on our on our journey onward there. Yeah, because definitely want to find out as much about this cult as I can because we've already encountered them three times in a week. So, yeah, they're becoming a problem fast. Well, I wish you good luck with them. And... Thank you for helping us here. Um, do you know if uh, there, if we should expect retaliation from them? Uh, I wouldn't rule it out, but I think we've maybe eliminated the immediate threat, so you might be okay for a bit, but... I would definitely stay on guard. Uh, you, you hear the woman that was speaking earlier, she immediately 
comes back in the conversation. Um, it's a human woman, um, middle middle aged, uh, you know, end of thirties, and she says, "We're not. We don't have the necessary weapons and trained guards to face a major incursion from goblins." Uh, to be honest, from what from what our towns from what the villager says, um, you most likely were able to dispatch this group of goblin who might actually have been able to almost kill everyone in the village uh, before we could probably mount a defense. Mm. If there's even the same amount as this hiding somewhere in the woods uh, we're gonna have to consider evacuating the village yeah if that's what need be the only other thing I could suggest is uh, big man over there maybe in the morning you know might be able to teach some of your more able bodies you know the basics of combat and pass that down the chain but other than that yeah relocating temporarily might be a good idea until we can figure this out and get to the leader maybe because like I said he's becoming a real pain very quickly so she, she looks she looks uh, <laughs> slightly disappointed but not uh, reprehensively disappointed toward you more disappointed of the fact that you well make an inside check okay yeah I'll take that I'm proficient in it uh, yeah not a great roll but 17 total alright um well, you do, you do get the feeling that she's disappointed because you seem to be, the four of you seem to be the most able body right now in the village and you seem huh. to already have given up <laughs> helping them more. So there's sort of this disappointment and realization huh. that if you can help them, it's not just temporary relocation it's most mm -hmm. likely abandoning the village for sure well I will tell her you know, I wish we could stay longer to help more long term but we have our own timetable and have an appointment we have to keep in the near future so fortunately we can't really stay you know, we need to continue on but you know, unfortunately, the best tech, you know, unless he looks to the party, unless somebody else has a better idea, the best I could offer would maybe be our fighters training your people in the morning, you know, with the basics to give them the best chance they can. And, you know, unless they do want to relocate. Well, Trevor, you wouldn't have a lot of experience in uh, martial combat. However, audience... <laughs> You would be easily. You, well, I know he's the expert in it. <laughs> you Much can more easily <laughs> say that you can't teach a <laughs> villagers how to become a militia in a single day. It's something that would need at least several weeks. I mean, couldn't our monk also teach them some moves? Even so, it's actually <laughs> it's most likely at least one or two weeks of training <laughs> to make them able to organize a defense and even then they wouldn't be proficient in it just not bad at yeah. it <clears throat> but at the same time you know when he does offer audience for training he kind of just looks at him to see if it's realistic or not you know kind of waiting for an I, answer I kind of shake my head 
Nah. I'm like, we wouldn't yeah. be able to... Yeah, it was... Yeah, it was a thought. Um, and how long do we have to get to the garden? Um, you are at 19 days. Uh, yeah, I don't want to push it that close. It's been like a week or two here. I'd be like, uh, the best we could offer right now would be if you guys want to gather your things tonight, we could help escort you to the next village in the morning as we move on. Unless you guys really want to stay here for a week and try and help them out, but we'll be cutting that timetable pretty close. You're looking for the looking to the party for some input here. Um, I'm having a tough time. I'm having a tough time just leaving a group of people that might need my help. Yeah, it's kind of why I offered to escort them to the next village. So you know, a bigger crowd might be able to fend them off a little better. But yeah, he's leaving that up to the party. That's why he was looking around for some input here. Nobody's I'm, speaking up, so yeah, I, I'm even not really realizing what is happening. I'm just still in my thoughts because of that. It just just popped in my mind, so I'm still thinking about that. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like I think we should. My, my personal opinion is, I think we should stay and try and help at least for at, at least for a week. Do what we can. We only have 19 days. How will you be able yeah, to? Yeah, that's just over two weeks. We're going to be cutting it really close. If we do that, we're not going to be have able any, to like, really stop do anywhere they have else. Any horses? Do they have any horses or anything that we could make borrow to help make up the time? Um, yeah. Um, you would, however, probably be depleting most of the horses that they actually have so yeah like they will need them themselves yeah for carrying supplies and things like that for also exchanging merchandise with neighboring village and <laughs> if they go through the woods to the closest trading town uh, without horses to drag carts it does hinder <laughs> them uh, in a variety of ways but well we only need two Trevor has his own <laughs> 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 Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, the wild shape cannot be maintained. Was it like an hour? <laughs> it should be uh, enough to get us close to the next village, anyway. <laughs> closer. Closer, oh, yeah. Well, <sighs> all right. Um, well, I guess Trevor will say, let's just everybody sleep on it. We can reconvene in the morning and figure it out yeah. all the while Valtteri seems lost in thought deeply lost in thought can I roll a check to see if I pick up on it or anything my perception is generally kind of low so I don't know do uh, a well, roll to maybe see well uh, I'd say this is more insight than wisdom because it's in her demeanor and how she acts and the fact that you know she's thinking about yeah, this I'll definitely take that because I got a much higher bonus dance than oh yeah for sure 17 plus 5 so yeah that should pick right up on it so 22 yeah so you easily notice that she looks deep in thought uh, in thoughts um Thinking about something, analyzing something. She looks well, like she, she looks like <laughs> you when you're actually trying to figure out a new spell. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. And about that time, Trevor will walk up to her, put his hand on her shoulder, like, "I know that face. You got something on your on your mind. What's what's eating at your brain there?" Um, I I had this weird like moment in my head because the people said that the sheep who got ravaged that goblins couldn't do that what if they have in the cold other creatures that could do that 
Or maybe... I know it sounds stupid, but maybe... Because... A elemental can't get hurt like that badly... That easily by goblins. What if they had something stronger with them? Uh -huh. Because... If you looked at the trail from the elemental, like that was a really long blood trail, so it had to be a really deep wound that couldn't heal that fast. Yeah, that that makes sense. Yeah. And I, 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 I don't know. I can't think of a reason why an elemental would who protected the town for so long just starts killing their sheep and hmm. I Could think so <sighs> I got my own ideas but could I, I don't know, I'll probably have to do a check for this of some sort to see if there's they might have been able to do something to corrupt the elemental to be able to command it in some way or something or well you don't have to make a, a a role for this you know that there are several ways someone knowledgeable in different arcane <coughs> ritual can use those things to corrupt or force a creature into doing their bidding uh, sometimes it's not even corruption it can just be a powerful manipulation um, okay. and of course blood usually ritual blood gathered for purposes with a dagger like this are very often used in Fuck, ritual to corrupt things push them oh, towards demonic things or things like that we should have looked at the blood if it had contained some uh, from the elemental. Mm. Oh, we should have. I still got three full daggers that have blood in them. You know, we only emptied the one, but we can go back in the morning. I'm sure it's not going anywhere. So. Yeah, but are huh. we even able to identify blood? <laughs> if I do a detect magic, it tells me the magic and the source school of the magic so it won't tell me a lot but it'll give me a little so we can't go it's only a 15 minute walk in the morning so we can't go back there and check yeah it's saying this in character too since I'm assuming she's relaying this as well um, I just say Valtteri audience and Trevor if you want you can make uh, Valtteri and audience, you can make a religion check if you want. Trevor, you could make an arcana check if you want. Um, Definitely. Oh, shit. Uh, so 12 plus... Oh, it's plus 6, so 18. Okay. Valtteri, are you also rolling? Yeah, I, I have an 11. I don't think I will get something okay. from Audience, there. did you roll or... Did you decide not to? I decided not to. All right. Mm -hmm. So, um, Trevor, with what you know of rituals, if the goblins are still gathering blood, it either means it's an ongoing ritual or an uncomplete, uh, uncompleted ritual. Okay. Otherwise, they would not still be gathering blood. All right, he'll pass that on, you know, and say, well, if they're still gathering, then what they're looking to accomplish isn't completed yet. So, I'm not sure. Um, but, yeah, we can definitely go check that in the morning since we're going to rest here tonight anyway and see if, if the... The source of the blood, you know, if the detect magic picks up anything and if it correlates with the type of elemental you think it is, you know, a, a tree or whatever, and uh, go from there. But whatever they're looking to accomplish, they haven't done it yet, so... 
we still have a chance to stop it, it seems. Mm. Um, question, can I use like my wisdom or what I have of elementals to know if wood elementals would even hunt sheep? <laughs> because that doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> no, usually elemental don't hunt a yeah. uh, creature. Usually because they don't. Well, yeah, I would think that Trevor would pass too. that along that somehow or another they probably most likely I... corrupted it to do their bidding of some sort. No, then it wouldn't kind of run away and would be wounded if they, it got corrupted. Why would they corrupt something if they would just try to kill well, it if they got something powerful enough they would probably rather it flee and heal back up than just outright have it killed yeah and, I mean if I got control of something that powerful I would rather it flee heal to fight another day than just die on the spot I, I don't believe that that elemental did those things it's or well, be a possibility, but I just know that they can be corrupted, so it is a possibility. Yeah. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna go sleep on else. it because I'm exhausted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Trevor's not, so he's up to talk about this all night if need be. You know, him and Val can brainstorm for as far as he All right, cares. so <laughs> audience, uh, the innkeeper says the same thing to you as he said to Tobiashi. Because of what you did for the village, you can stay for the night uh, for free. Okay. And when you get I'm up the stairs, that's across the board, when, yeah. you, <laughs> when you get up the stairs, you notice that all but one room are empty. <laughs> so take I, your I pick. take a room, pick a room <laughs> that's not empty, and I go in and I fall asleep. All right. Oh, I guess in the meantime, I'll, Trevor and Val are like brainstorming here. He'll just have a quick uh, glance over to the the innkeeper and say, "Do you guys have any uh, incense and herbs here by chance? I need about maybe ten golds worth if." If possible, um, the innkeeper. I know you said you couldn't pay us in money, but maybe goods by chance. I I lost a companion that I would like to have back. <laughs> uh, he looks slightly confused by that, but um, he says, "Well, um, uh, not in the end, but um, tomorrow you could always go to." Um, our little temple. Uh, they will most likely have incense. I don't know if they they will be willing to sell it, but this is the place where you most likely find it. Okay, I will check in the morning. Thank you. Then he'll go back to brainstorm with Val. All right. So, what are you thinking? Let me pick your brain for a second. We saw the wounds on the sheep. Were we certain that those were attack wounds from an elemental? Uh, what your medicine check revealed was that the wounds on the sheep that you found the first time, because you didn't make any um, roll for the sheep that you found last night, but mm -hmm. the first time the sheep that you found, you were positive that these were made by small weapons and not natural weapons such as what an elemental would have and actually now seeing the daggers that you have um, you're pretty sure that this does fit the wound that you saw the elemental never took the sheep Because the people don't know that those goblins have those daggers that they can't imagine of them doing such wounds to them. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it didn't seem like they rang a bell when I showed the dagger to them and asked them if it, yeah, rang a bell, so. 
it it has it has you heard been a few a gasp gasp when time. you showed it but that's all <laughs> yeah but that's about it yeah no no real you know epiphanies there say like, oh yeah i've seen that yeah none of that so <laughs> the elemental wait maybe those daggers are even able to wound the elemental more that we can I mean, if yeah. we actually find a only... lot of the elemental inside of it, we can be definitely certain that they attacked it. If yeah. that is the case, it is clearly shown that the elemental probably never stopped trying to protect the town. But because yeah, of the new I'm... weapons, wasn't able to do it anymore. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. They might have been trying to harvest the elemental's blood to use for a ritual maybe to channel it into this hunter's being or something I'm not sure try and channel his the elemental's power of some sort we should talk with the town about it because I don't like the feeling that they just give the elemental default of all of this happening. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we can uh, just get late. Maybe we should rest on it and we can talk with everybody in the morning about it after we slept on it pretty well. But yeah, sounds like we've got a pretty good idea of what might be going on here. So we can mm -hmm. talk over with them in the morning. And, uh, yeah, I can, uh, I don't even think I should go ahead and identify and empty out these other blades and go ahead and identify them all tonight to see if it's all connected to the elemental or not, maybe. Okay. Might be a late night for me. I only got one spell slot left, but. I'll take a point of exhaustion if need be. Uh, go to. Yeah. I will find my room because. Yeah, okay. Well, it's uh, only half an hour if you want to identify, uh, ritually well, identify each one. So. Well, three identifies, three detect magics, so yeah. that's thirty. That's an hour. That's an hour. Yeah, and what well, you say it was like midnight already. So Trevor uh, with, might get a little late this, start in the morning. With all of this conversation and time it took you to get to town, I'd say it's probably one in the morning right now. Yeah. <laughs> to get answers, Trevor's used to spending all-nighters on research and stuff. So, yeah, he would spend the extra hour to go ahead and identify all three of them, see if they're exactly the same, use the command words if they differ to empty the blood, you say detect magic on the blood to see what kind of magic it is, if any. The the command word does vary slightly from dagger to dagger. Um, okay. Uh, but otherwise, it is exactly the same uh, dagger for each uh, each of them. Uh, okay. Like I said, they look hand carved. So, okay. other than that sort of variation, uh, a little it is personalized. Yeah. <laughs> exactly the same for each. Uh, as you empty them all, one has a few drops of sap blood. Only one of them. Okay. All right. And he'll just leave it at that for now. And in the morning, he will head back out to the blood that he emptied out of the other one and do a ritual detect magic on that to see. That, that'll be the first thing he does. He won't stop for breakfast or anything. He's just going to head right out and do that because while well, it's still fresh in his memory there. All right. So. But then after yeah. emptying them all out and do the tech magic, then he'll just go do his rest for the night. All right. So like I said, uh, they're all identical. I'll have this slight variation because they were handmade. And mm -hmm. only one of them has a few drops of sap blood in it. So you all go to sleep. Some of you yep. are already sleeping. <laughs> um, the night goes by 
without any uh, further problem. However, since you are all very exhausted and you did go to sleep uh, very late, you will all sort of naturally wake up probably around 9, maybe 10 o'clock. I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Except maybe Trevor. I, I mean, since he held his constitution, he'd probably get up you know, normal time. I don't like this. <laughs> yep. Now Trevor gets to reverse the uh, scenario. He'll go knock on Valtteri's door first thing in the morning. <laughs> you're all you're still very groggy. You j you just barely got up, and you hear this pounding at the door. I hear it from the next you're, room. Oh, you awake? Huh? Uh, you you hear uh, the silent thump as I. Almost fall onto the floor as I try to get up because I'm. Mm. <laughs> and like you decent? Can I come in? <laughs> uh, uh, sh 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 sure. Yeah. But did she lock the door behind her? I'll check. <laughs> I don't know. Did I? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I would think. <laughs> Can't remember. Well, you're gonna have to cut them up. You're gonna have to come. Let me in. Uh. <laughs> So I'm I'm slowly standing up, uh, like holding on to the bed to get up easier. <laughs> not a not a um, morning person when you've had a late night. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> and walk to the door and slowly open it, and you just see my head peeking out. <laughs> hmm. And actually, what's Toby, her, what's her? this was oh, loud ahead. enough for you to hear this. However, audience. <laughs> Because of your low passive perception, you are still snoring right now. <laughs> kind of like Question, up real quick. What does like, Valtteri's hair look like? Oh, it's she just woke up and almost fall out of a okay. bed. <laughs> He'll return the favor and kind of just kind of part her hair back down now. Start trying to untie it from around the horns, yeah. you know. And yep. Ouch. Yeah, try Stop and it. untangle what, what it. You just, get ow, it ow. just get it parted <laughs> out there. Yeah. Straighten up her braids with the beads and all, you know, adjust all that, you know. Just try and get her presentable. Need to make roll or anything, or is we just good? Yeah. <laughs> you can roll a charisma roll if you want to. <laughs> just straight charisma? Um, uh, well, actually, I'd say performance since you're Oh, uh, yeah, to... that's going to be terrible anyway because it's a two. So, uh, so he spends... Performance... Uh, so, yeah, that's a four. So he spends the, ne the next ten minutes trying to... <laughs> brush your hair uh, all the while you spend most of the time saying ow 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 that 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 pulls ow all right well i'm like you got about as much experience with these elementals as me so i just wanted you present when i go and you know check out this blood pile that i emptied out last night in the field and Tobiashi, you hear regularly for the 10 next minute, ow, that pulls out, stop it, out. <laughs> yeah. So, um, as, as he's as trying I... to relay that to her, as he's trying to fix her shit, he's like, you know, my turn, you know, but not quite as good as she was. So. <laughs> um, um, as soon as I hear that, I kind of like shoot up. I'm like, oh, ooh. like kind of thinking that I'm late and I'm going to get in trouble. And I go up and I kind of <laughs> get dressed school. like, yeah, I kind of get dressed real quick and I like put my head out the door. I'm like, uh, what's going on? You do notice that you're <laughs> a lot later than you're used to uh, when you get up. You notice that the one room is open, most likely where someone was. You see another door that is open, and you hear the ow, ow, stop it, ow, that pulls from that room. <laughs> and you hear snoring from another room. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, about the time since the three of us are around, Trevor will also mention out of those three daggers that I emptied out last night, there was some of that sap blood in one of them. So they are, they did seem to at least wound it and are trying to harvest some of its blood. Right. Yeah, I'll just calm down and kind of a. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Noticing where yeah. I'm at. Yeah. And just, a little uh, late yeah. this morning, ain't you? <laughs> Yeah, sorry about that. I didn't notice the time. Um, uh. Luckily, I wasn't. You can all else. remove your point of exhaustion. Yeah. 
Uh, and Valtteri, you can exchange that for a point of humiliation. But <laughs> <laughs> I'll go knock and wake up audience. Audience, you are well, like our braids are like sticking straight up, like a couple of extra horns now, or <laughs> yeah, but well, it looks frazzled. Um, you did pull quite hard a few times to you know get through a knot in her hair, and after pulling hard enough, she did say that was braided, that wasn't a knot. So, there are a few moments Ow. like that, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Trevor's night quite as graceful as she is with that, obviously. So, yeah. And audience, <laughs> you are, you are woken up. You are woken up by Tobiashi uh, screaming at your door. Come on, wake up, wake up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I wake up very suddenly. <laughs> suddenly. <laughs> you hear it uh, within the room. What? And... <laughs> Most likely a sword falling on the ground. <laughs> yeah, I'll just uh, leave with that, and then um, uh, I'll go um, head downstairs and get something to eat because I'm late. An audience, you are ju you are woken up just in time to hear the end of "Stop it! Stop! Let my hair go! That hurts!" Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> question is how will he take that in <laughs> hey, yeah <laughs> I, I mean i'm just like okay like i'm just gonna be like <laughs> yeah i imagine he still sees me trying to fix her hair well, and stuff it, it, he knows what's going on he if just... <laughs> he leaves the if he leaves the room before she stops screaming yes he's going to see otherwise <laughs> all he's having is let my hair go this kind of hurts how it pulls <laughs> i mean i'm gonna kind of wake up stretching I'm like oh all right what's going on here like kind of get up when i hear this noise from val i'm like oh god <laughs> I'm just trying to return the favor. I'm, you know, and you hear, and you I'm not tracing arcane signals here, so it's kind of out of my league, you know. I kind of peek <laughs> my head out to see what's going on. Like, I see Trevor. I'm like, oh, okay, they're just doing stuff. Pop his head back in. Okay, whatever. <laughs> and just as he uh, says that, you hear Valtteri say, that's not a braid, that's my horn, let it go, let it go. <laughs> Actually, I will uh, say, because Trevor made that comment last night, I'll say, I'll kind of shout out, I'll be like, Trevor, you suck at this. And I'll go down. <laughs> I'm trying the best I can, man. It's just, you know. And then I'll, and then I'll, and then it's, I'll go. It's, it's not my expertise, you know. <laughs> And then I'll and then I'll kind of head downstairs to go get breakfast. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Just trying to return the favor. That's all. <laughs> so from this Valtteri, you gather that Trevor most likely doesn't have sisters, uh, and <laughs> most likely never had to do anything with women's hair before. I mean, he yeah. told me before that he's an orphan, so yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. About that time, he's like, I'm really sorry. You know, I was the one that was picked on, so I never really had a chance to do this to anybody, you know. If if anything, they tied my freaking hair up, so, you know, it's mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of experience at this, and apologizing as I go along, you know. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, my bad. <laughs> I'm right. doing the best I can. So you, so Valtteri and Trevor, do you stay there, keep talking, or do you go down with say, Tobiashi and audience? I was about to say that I'll quickly go back and put my other clothes on because I'm not wearing everything. She's just wearing the minimum. Probably <laughs> oh. well, basically just your dress, I would say, and that's yes. about it. <laughs> okay. So basically, what Tobiashi just saw was Trevor in your room wearing only the most no. basic of attire, doing your hair. 
I said I'm only peeking with my head out, so my body was still behind, like, in my room, like, only my head peeking out of the door. Okay. Alright. <laughs> that is right, why so I was yeah, only just your peeking head's out. peeking out doing it. Okay. Alright. Alright. <laughs> so I don't I'll... think that would be enough exposed to... Okay, never mind. No, nope, we're good. So I'm quickly going back and... S oh. Okay, so I'm quickly going back inside, but I forgot to uh, close the door, so that is still open. And <laughs> put on my right. cloak, scarf, backpack, or whatever I have. I don't know. <laughs> my weapons and everything. All and right. So you are ready for adventure. Yes. All right, and quickly looking if there's a mirror, quickly looking into the mirror to see what he did. <laughs> uh, there is a small mirror in the room, uh, very small. It's basically just to make sure that you don't look terrible. And when you look at what you see, you easily say, "Oh yeah, my father did better than that." <laughs> I. I Try to as quickly as possible readjust it without him noticing that I would, <laughs> and, and then go. With a performance roll that low, it's it wasn't e it wasn't hard doing best doing better. So do I have to roll something? Uh, I'd say since you've probably been doing your hair for the last 10 years, if you want to just put it back as it was, no. If you want to do something special with it, you can roll with advantage. I would just like try to <laughs> get the errors out he did with how then my hair... That, that is easy to do. Okay. I would have already ordered food when I got down there. <laughs> All right, uh, food, food, food. So I guess I would have came. Would I come in on Tobiashi already eating, or would I have? Uh, well, not already eating, but uh, just receiving his plate. I'd say. Okay, I'll kind of nod to him, like "Good morning," like "How are you? How are you doing?" Uh, I'll look at him like a. Kind of had a rough night, kind of. My hair is still messy and everything. Yeah. <sighs> and now How do you I don't have that. I don't have that problem. I have scales. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thick, ropey hair with scales on it. Yeah. Probably doesn't have to do a lot of maintenance for that. So, so, uh, so Tobiashi, you're probably taking the <laughs> cheapest meal that you can find, as is your habit from till then yeah uh, and audience most likely the most hearty meal that you can find so yes. that would be three copper for Tobiashi and six for audience which is basically eating what everyone else considers a full meal yeah you glutton um uh, <laughs> um I'm going to, um, uh, while I'm eating, I'll say, so, uh, what happened last night when I went to sleep? I kind of didn't stay out for the crowd. Uh, <laughs> not much. I actually went to bed pretty soon after yours. Just talked, and I wasn't honestly paying that much attention. I was kind of thinking about our situation and kind of in my own thoughts. I wasn't really paying too much attention to what Trevor and was talking about with the innkeep. I know he was talking to him, but I don't really know exactly what. You'll have to ask him when he comes down. All right, so if you don't mind me asking, what are your thoughts? Because I have no idea. Well, so I want to stay, and I don't feel like it's right for us just to leave. I want to at least do something, but they're too worried about the time and us reaching our destination. But I, I don't think that's a good reason to like move on just because we're like worried about reaching a place on time like we don't even know that much about this place and i'm sure like they would understand if we were maybe a little late but like 
I also don't understand the magic part of it, so maybe the place will only be open at that time. So, like, I, I don't know. It's a little out of my wheelhouse, but, like, my gut's telling me we should stay and help. Huh. So, it's either we leave or we stay. Um, how long do you think it would take for us to stay here and um, help Well, I think people? at max we could only stay a week, but I think even a week we could do a lot of good. And do the people know that, um, they already know that the goblins are the, oh yeah, I told them that, never mind. Sorry, um. Yeah, they know. Uh, so are the people willing to stay here and, uh, try to protect themselves, or do they also want to leave? I mean, the, obviously they don't want to, they obviously don't want to move. I mean, nobody wants to move from where you grew up and all that, so... I mean, I think I could try and train them, but I couldn't really do much in a week. We could try and deal with this problem ourselves, which would be... Oops. I think we lost yeah. audience. Well, maybe I could help out a little bit and um, uh, with our combined efforts, but we have to see what the rest of our party thinks, because uh, I'm totally down with staying for... Um, um, Another week or so, because we have time to kill anyways. I, I think we lost audience. Yeah, well, I was just going on, because, <laughs> okay. yeah. Uh, Trevor, uh, you're, you're muted. Trevor, you're muted again. And you're upstairs. Yeah, well, I was going to say, as soon as, Val, uh, as soon as Trevor got done fucking with Val's hair, first thing he would do would probably just go down, get breakfast, eat it on the way to that blood pile, and go ahead and identify it. He wants to get answers like as quick as he can, see if that connects, see if there's any sap blood in that as well so I love the fact that you get to me tell me you want me with you let me go inside and then just leave <laughs> yeah like come on you gotta catch up you know you gotta, you gotta be with it now come on <laughs> you gotta be on your game now alright so hey, um, no well, unless you know with Trevor now come on we, we didn't take our break so I think we're gonna give audience a chance to Figure out yeah. what the problem is with oh, yeah. this. It's already 11 o'clock. Damn, time flies. Shit. <laughs> Damn. All right. So, we're going to take our break here, and hopefully, by the time the break is over, we're going to have our fourth player back. So, yeah. <laughs> see you in 10 minutes, everyone. Okay. All right. Welcome back, everyone. And as you can see, we managed to get our fourth player back. Technology. It's as nice as it is frustrating. <sighs> Believe me, I know a chapter of this. All right. So, just before the uh, <laughs> just before the break uh, happened, um, Tobiashi and audience were talking about what they were planning to do uh, from their side, and Valtteri and Trevor were talking about what they were planning to do from the uh, floor upstairs. Um, while everything was going on, Valtteri and Trevor did uh, catch up with the rest of the group and they arrive as Tobiashi and audience are talking about what they believe they should be doing. And this is where we left off. <laughs> okay. Alright. So yeah. uh, I guess Toby and audiences down in the main already, area of the yeah. inn. Yeah. You'd yeah, probably hear me eating. basically saying, you'd basically probably walk in hearing me talking about why I think we should stay. So. Yeah. And, and, and about that time, yeah. Mutually agree. I'm pretty sure we'd hear, yeah. I mean, uh, but yeah. at the same time, like I said, Trevor would order his breakfast and just kind of get it to go and head out and like I need answers, but you know I'm good with whatever the party decides. I need answers as far as that goes too, <laughs> and just start heading towards the blood pile that he emptied Before out. Before you night. leave, I'm like, are you sure we're, you're going to be like? There's still dangerous things in the woods. Should someone go with you? It's daylight. Uh, Valtteri is supposed to be coming with me. Where the hell is she at? And he goes and looks back up the staircase because I imagine she's still fixing her hair because. 
He took off yeah. while she's still trying to fix his fuck up, so. Uh, I'm probably <laughs> gone with that and was already walking down the staircase as you were about to go up. So that was a two. Imagine if you had a one. You would probably have left with part of her hair in your hands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just carry in one of her braids. <laughs> I'm sure that's supposed to be back there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it's supposed to still be attached, I think. All right, so... Uh, Trevor, the morning meal, three copper, Valtteri, same okay. thing. Uh, apparently, right. Trevor, you asked it to be reduced in puree and pour inside a container. Yeah, just give, me a, just give me a cup to just drink along the way there. <laughs> um, I'll ask Trevor if... Uh, hey, um, Trevor, you want me to join you on your... Um... Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Like, Anything. I'm just going to identify the blood out there just to see if it's uh, got the same sap it is it as the, uh, the one that yeah. last night. So. How much? Well, I, guess if every, I guess if everyone's leaving, I'll go too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how, how much? Well, I didn't know copper? if you would leave. How much copper? Three. Three. Three copper. Three. Three copper. I mean, well, after you ask Toby if he wants to come, I probably would have stayed then at the uh, here. You're gonna, you're gonna hang around at the uh, at the end. I, I would in. say if you would say like, "Hey, I need you," and then you're like, "Toby, come with me." I'm like, mm, okay then. Well, he offered, you know, and you weren't around. You, you know, <laughs> lally gagged around this morning. So, <laughs> okay, Trevor, Trevor, take the owl. You fucked up. Just take take the the <laughs> <laughs> I'll just sit down really like still yeah, he just excited. loudly gagged around too long Trevor's ready for some answers you know he's, he's ready Toby, to get shit Toby, going way to, way to cock block the guy by just offering to help him Jesus yeah, Christ yeah, yeah. just trying to be a nice guy man I mean sorry I, I can't read the room I'm sorry I've never been in a room with a lot of people no. of different <laughs> right <laughs> So I sit down oh. there, still kind of tired and like. Mm. <laughs> you know, Toby yeah, she thought they they did their business in their room upstairs. You know, and he thought it was over. <laughs> uh, after over. what Trevor did to her freaking hair, she probably could use a little recovery time to herself there. So. <laughs> well, I guess if Toby's going and Val's going to stay here, then I'll stay here too. I just was going if I thought everyone was going. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the party splits into Toby, Ashi, and Trevor, and Valtteri and audience. It's only a 15-minute walk. I don't think we're going to be gone that long. He just no. wants to identify the blood and come back. You know, you, that's all you, he was looking to do. You come that's back, you the think. town is burning into audience. Last time, <laughs> last, time we thought, last time we thought you were going to be gone that long, we didn't see each other for another, like, five sessions. <laughs> I was about yeah, to say 20 exactly. sessions later. <laughs> we'll see, you know. Maybe me and Toby, I have some bonding time now, you know, who knows. <laughs> you come back and we got kidnapped. Last time, you were supposed to be back in a few hours, and it actually took <laughs> four days for you to find each other again. <laughs> it just took a small detour. Yeah. I thought it was a shortcut, you know. Every the story about the guy. I would imagine, like you're saying, we'll be back in like half an hour, come back, and the whole town is just burning, people screaming. Kind of like waiting on a woman to get ready, you know, for, you know, a night out or something, you know. <laughs> or, you know, recovering from a night out. <laughs> yeah, that too. All right. So I guess me and Toby's heading out there, but, uh. Yeah. Yeah, he'd just head straight out there. Yeah, in case we Well yeah, he would do that first, you know, go identify the blood and then come back and look for some herbs to resummon Tao. Alright, so it's audience is gonna start the process of um, trying to convince Val of why we should stay. I would there you um, go. I'd also help Because Trevor um, wants Trevor. to leave, he don't give a shit, so yeah, you need to work on Val. <laughs> Outnumber yeah, since him. I see... <laughs> Since yes. I see Trevor look for herbs, I'd help him and look through the herbs that I've already collected and um, um, try to look for a um, church or yeah, church nearby or a um, temple, something like that, something religious. Well, yeah. first things first, Trevor would like make a beeline right out there for the blood. He wants answers for that at least, since he got 
you know some of the set from the others, but we can do that when we get back to town. Okay. After that. All right, yeah, I'd watch unless, him do unless that. you're gonna unless you're gonna leave him behind and just. No, oh, yeah, I'd I'd watch him do thing. what he does first and then help him. Yeah. All right, then a simple perception roll to find where the blood was uh, let out. All right, perceptions plus three. Do I know he's looking for blood? 18. Did he tell me? So twenty-one total. Oh. Tobiashi wants 18. to know if you told him you were looking for blood. Oh yeah, I was. T- I would. I would say that I was going back out there to find the blood that I dumped out last night. I don't know if he was within range to witness it or not at the time, because I know he was freaked out about it all. But I would explain Asleep. it all to him what happened and right. what I was going back. You know, trying to make any connection there. All right, uh, with 21, yes, you find it. It uh, takes you maybe 10 minutes just to figure out, the, well, we were... Oh, there we were. There's still a body there. So... <laughs> All right. Actually, and half a body yep. in one place, another half in another place. Two yeah. times. Two times, yeah. yeah. Another half probably in Val's body at the moment, but, you know. I never <laughs> no, she's swallowed. Out. <laughs> okay. Oh, goodness. <laughs> 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 Oof, that's gonna be clipped. Oh. Spit or swallow? <laughs> He's, already typing it. He's already making the clip now. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm already made. I got um, the clips in my head already. You know, I'll talk to Pepper and begin to be like, um, so, um, your what are your ideas on the um, the whole village situation? Should we just leave them or should we? Take them. I'm. I think half of us stood on the situation at this. Yeah, point. I know. I know some want to stay, but you know, at the same time, I say we need to look out for number one above all else. We need to make sure we make that timetable. But if I get outvoted on it, I'll. You know, I'm not going to walk off myself. You know, but I think this meeting is more imperative to ourselves we need to make sure we keep that timetable because if we stay here a week or whatever is needed i don't think we're going to have much time to stop anywhere else to help anybody so it's either now or never kind of thing you know if we help these we're not going to be able to help anybody else so you gotta we gotta pick our battles all right uh well, um, I'll definitely think on that before I we get back to the tavern. Uh, so you say we're looking okay. for blood? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I know you kind of got a little freaked out about it and, you know, ran away, you know. But, yeah, I figured out the, uh, the uh, command word to empty out the dagger and empty out the blood. So I was just looking for it because with the other three, I did find some of that elemental blood stored in one of them. So I think they might be looking for that to use to maybe empower the leader or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. On that. So I want to at least identify the blood I emptied out last night to see if there's any more of that sap blood in that dagger. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that seems like a good idea. Um, uh, well... It would kind of been nice to know that she was turning into a creature. I honestly didn't know people could do that. Um, so how did she turn into... Was it like... Did she rip apart or uh, was she full or did she just change normally? Uh, th- mm. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's kind of just... Yeah, I mean, because from what I could tell from my Detect Magic, I mean, the blood just kind of ended at the end of the trail, so I'm not really sure what happened to the elemental, so I'm just trying to make any connections I can there, so... (laughs) Well, um... Let's keep a lookout for this blood, and you said you're looking for herbs, too? I keep getting confused because I I think that the parrot sounds so much like his wife. So sometimes <laughs> I think I it's saying. the parrot, and it's no, it's his wife. 
just matched the tone so much. So, Valtteri, how do you like having this possibly clip forever <laughs> on the internet now? Well, if you mute yourself, yes. <laughs> like, that is something... Mm, just... Mm. <laughs> just, uh-uh. Alright, so, Tobiashi and Trevor, is there anything else you want to talk, to talk about? <laughs> so, um... So let's keep uh, looking for this blood, and then I just keep looking, look out for the blood. Yeah. So you easily find it with a 21 perception roll, and no, there is no um, blood sap in that uh, blood puddle. So there really only was one dagger. And um, I'd say um, make a arcana roll. Wait, wait, what? I think Trevor mm. lost his Don't dice. Or both of us. Um, well, I'd say, Trevor, that would be the most relevant, because you know yeah. the most about magic. But Tobiashi, you could also. Uh, you're going to have different DCs, though. Yeah. Yeah, my Why not? Terrible. I rolled a four. It was so Arcana, right? A ten. Yeah. A ten total. Wait, let me use my cup. It's 19. 19, all right. Well, on this one, uh, <laughs> Tobiashi beats Trevor easily. Hey. <laughs> and actually, as Trevor looks at this blood and so oh, maybe they're trying to harvest the blood of the creature, Tobiashi, you remember Me. your master telling you something about powerful creature like this some of them are immune to normal weapon and for those creature magical weapon would be the only way to actually injure them and this is a slightly magical weapon it does have a plus two attack i don't know if he's listening no i'm here <laughs> okay, okay. Um, uh, I would say, um, so my master, uh, I don't know if you would know, but my, uh, my master has talked to me about this before. Uh, these monsters have a um, really strong aura, and... Uh, <clears throat> uh, okay, wait, wait, I just forgot what you said. Brain fart. <laughs> Brain fart. <laughs> That's all right. Um... Mostly because as a monk, uh, you mostly use your fist, but it is part of your uh, learning to empower your uh, strike with ki. Okay. To be able to push through um, <laughs> invulnerabili invulnerabilities that some monster have. So you know that ki and mm. in the instance magic. of those who use magic, magic can often be used to push through protections that creature have against being injured and the dagger that you found was magical yeah i'd say um so like the only thing that could make this um creature bleed like it did is a magic weapon as we have in as you have and trevor as he says that you sort of says oh god why did i forget this yeah so uh, yeah <laughs> okay yeah. Uh, um, it's just a big blood stain, right? In the grass. Like the grass oh, is yeah. dying now. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Two pints of blood were just dropped at the same place. Yeah. Oh, it smells a little irony and like rotten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Probably mixed, pretty right now since it's been laying out all night. So Yeah, mixed with the uh, evening dew, sort of a little bit of. 
interesting smell in the morning. <sighs> just after eating, you know, 15 minutes later. Yeah, just kind of <laughs> gag. Like... <laughs> All right. So, audience and Valtteri. Audience, how do you convince Valtteri that you should stay to solve this mystery? Well, I mean, first I'll probably... I mean, we haven't really ever even talked that much, the two of us. No? So, <laughs> beginning we I can barely hear you. You're quiet again. I mean, at the very beginning we talked, but, like, not for a very long time. And when I... I More? still can't hear you. <laughs> See, like you she's were still, there, but then she, it was like she's a... still shy about the comment that was going to be made as a clip and immortalized on the internet. <laughs> yep. Hey, Sam had his last week with the touching himself, you know. So, yeah. wait, what? All right, <laughs> now I can hear you. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Just, it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll live it down. Yeah. Eventually. Uh, I've, I've <sighs> been on much larger streams than this with clips of me doing things, so. You know, the fun fact is normally I'm the one with the dirty mind, but that before just caught me off guard. Like, Yep, <laughs> nope. I'm the one that's going to take it so far down. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> audience, how are you going to convince me? <laughs> okay, well, I'll walk up and I'll be like, Hey Val, we haven't talked much. How's it going? Uh, and you see me like still a little bit tired. Like, good, you? <laughs> so, what do you so what do you think about staying or leaving? I'm going to ask her a question. Um... T to be honest, I don't just want to leave with all of this kind of mystery staying here. I don't... I can't believe that that elemental did all of this. And we had... And we have evidence that it didn't do that. It was the goblins, so... Yeah. I don't I would agree with want, you. Uh, <laughs> I don't want the... Uh, Town to keep thinking that the elemental did all of this. Exactly. So we have to prove that that didn't by taking out the goblins. So we should stay and take out the goblins. But didn't we took out the goblins yesterday? We don't they know if that was goblin. all of them. We uh, know that they were. We know that they had. Um, that they were working for the hunter. We don't know how or who. And usually, and those weren't that many. I'd assume there might be more of them. Yeah, true. I mean, it is clear that those goblins haven't been like kind of waiting for us because they. It looks like they've been here for longer. Yeah. But what if, what if that? Nah, I don't think that a cult would just chase four people. Or would I don't. They? I don't know. They're pretty pissed at me for preaching in that city. Oh, yeah. That was a rough day. <laughs> it was um, a great day. <laughs> well, you didn't have to get Trevor while he's blind and deaf for the whole town, uh, for the whole city, making sure it doesn't bump into people. <laughs> yeah, that must have been rough. I usually prefer people who can walk on their own, but you know. I mean... <laughs> it's not like I'm against helping people, so... Oh no, you always want to help people. But, I don't know. Sometimes some of his magical stuff seems to hamper more than help. I don't know, it's kind of funny. Funny is a good word for it. <laughs> <laughs> So, you're thinking of staying here? I would like to stay for at least three days and see what we could do within three days. Because that shouldn't affect our schedule too much. I mean, I guess that can work. I think we ha I 
we have a little bit more than two weeks left to get there and I I mean I don't know how important we would be for them to get there but they would maybe they would wait for us to get there Whoever I don't think we that. can. I don't think we can count on that. But we can also mm -hmm. always set a faster pace if we need to. I think it's more important yeah. that we help these people now and here. Yeah, definitely. Good. I'm glad that you're in agreement with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just sounded so weird for a second. It did. so sad. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, it's so robot right now. <laughs> this is the. Like, this whole mood we are having here. Like, I'm done. I'm just. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? Well, you audience, and yet you want to add something to this, uh, we're going to go back to... Audience has accomplished his mission. <laughs> <laughs> Got somebody on his side there, so... Yeah. <laughs> For a moment, Valtari, as you look uh, audience in the eyes, it feels like you're watching a dog who is very proud of himself. <laughs> you know, that same... Yeah. <laughs> I have like a little like uh, a smile like cute. <laughs> he just managed to bury his bone and now he is very pleased. <laughs> wow. Oh no, I'm gonna leave that one alone too. Yeah, yeah I love I love that every my yeah. No. Just leave it. Yeah. Just leave it. You can yeah. use that <laughs> sentence is such a bad pickup line. Yeah, that's um <laughs> I'm try and keep I'm gonna try and keep some of them in check at least. Jesus. Go so back to Trevor <laughs> no, no actually I really don't mind going back to the both of you. You're probably making your way back to town. Yeah, yeah we don't got what we did. Yeah and Trevor's like, you know, I need to get back to town. I need to get Tao back so I need to see if I got any herbs or uh, incense at oh, the I uh, the temple like they said. I tell him that I collected some herbs in bag to see if I have any that he needs. Hmm, how much? Um, I'll just hold out my hand and see what he's gathered. See if I think it'll be enough. I would, I would think I'd have an idea of whether it'd be a, enough to resummon Tower or not. Oh, um. So, did you show him what you've gathered? Yes, I do. All right. Um, no, it wouldn't be enough, uh, mostly because he wasn't actually thinking about specific herbs for that, so part yeah. of it is not usable for this, and it's not high quality herbs also, so it's... Yeah, yeah. I'll just tell him I appreciate the effort, use. but yeah, let's see what we can find back in the temple. I might be able to use some of it, but yeah, we'll see. Let's say that uh, from everything he's gathered and he's showing you, um, you can maybe have the equivalent equivalent of uh, two golds. Okay. So. Yeah. Eight golds worth if I can muster it up. All right. All right. Okay. So, so I guess we'll head back to the the temple, yeah. as I said, uh, or whatever. In the middle of the day, nothing much happens. Um, to prevent you from going back into town, uh, into the village. Of course, as you get in, you notice that there are maybe a few more people inside the town, inside the village, as when you arrived yesterday. But still, it they seem to be very shy. There is a little uneasy mood um, floating inside this village. Um, they. They're basically not sure what is going to happen next. Um, but other than that, it's all you pick up and you usually make your way to uh, uh, to the temple. Um, we are... Okay. Um, right now, uh, as you get to the temple, uh, you do notice that there 
no villager actually uh, currently worshipping. Um, that was most likely done while you were all recovering from, from your long night. Uh, oh, yeah. Late start on the morning. Gotcha. Uh, you do see you do see one person tending to the different uh, idols that you can see uh, inside this temple. Um, they all have a um, a common team. They're all uh, from the Fate of Light, so they're all idols from good aligned gods. Okay. All right. Um. All right. Well, I guess Trevor will approach what looks to be the highest-ranking one there. Um, like, there's only one person and, right now. He's ten. Oh, okay. Ten. All right. All right. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, and um, yeah, I just ask uh, if we're uh, we was traveling through and we took care of the goblin problem last night, which is seems to be plaguing the uh, the fields and killing the sheep and all. Uh, but I happen to have lost my familiar in the process, so I was looking to see if I could maybe acquire some incense, charcoal, and or herbs to re-summon him, possibly. Um, so, it's a human. He's looking at you. He looks fairly young, uh, but maybe, you know... I just at the beginning of his 20s and he says uh ah well yes of course we uh we do have uh, uh incense with us um uh, how how much do you need uh about 10 golds worth uh if, 10 gold. if possible uh all right um hold on uh he turns around and um he yells something in a in um halfling good lord the, the name <laughs> the name just wouldn't come out of my head uh he yells something in halfling and you see a few minutes later uh a halfling come out from a back room um with a little bundle in his hand um he says ah uh, well this is uh, everything i could find uh, i'm afraid we're a little bit short um, I only have for uh, nine gold. Mm. I th think I can make that work. Uh, I oh, can good, probably good. scrounge up the rest. I appreciate that. Uh, th 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 this is everything we could spare. So it's if you can manage with this, this is uh, most likely a good thing. Okay. And yeah. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, that's uh, with one hand he hands it to you, and with the other one he's waiting for the money. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor will just take it, like yeah. And he'll look at it, and um, like temples are usually charity organizations, right? We eliminated the goblin problem, so I think this should be a uh, a fair trade at the moment. Make a perception, uh, not a perception, a persuasion. Persuasion. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it's my persuasion. Oh, plus four. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, not great, but eight. Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> um, all right. Well, he looks at you, looks at um, the bundle that you just took and said... Uh, well, this this is everything we could spare. We, um, all right. You, well, yes, you, you did. You did give make us a favor. Um, uh, how, how about How about eight gold? I'll give him the eight gold. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Trevor just looks at. Toby, like, what the fuck, man? I'm making. <laughs> just, it's but fine. It's too it's late now. He money. already handed it over. He's just like, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. It's just money. I'm. Uh, uh, I can pay it. So he looks at you, Toby Ash, and says, uh, "Thank you very much. You know, especially in times of needs, this money will be used to ease the suffering of the, the villagers." I'll bow just, to him. And Trevor just gives oh, like a. Sigh and like, yeah, kind of like um, easing the goblin problem you had. 
How about uh, well, him in a... Making, sh- making <laughs> sure nobody like... else is injured is one thing. Making sure people recover from their injuries is another one. I'll turn to the priest and say, or the guy that's, um, the other guy. Yeah, I'll turn to the other guy and say, um, um, do you know of um, any monasteries around of uh, any kind of, or is this any grand churches, anything I could? Um, well, um, uh, not nearby, uh, but uh, there is, a, I know of another monastery, uh, but it's, um, fair, uh, a good distance from here. Uh, there are uh, a gathering of uh, of mountains I- in the middle of the island, um, but y- you'd need um, I don't know maybe five or six days to get there. Uh, there is a village uh, just as the foot at the foot of the mountain, but they often trade with um, uh, a monastery that has been built in in those mountains just behind the village uh, and um, which way did you say this was? Um, s- the center of the uh, the island so well, I mean from like where we're at like south east um, well, it's in the direction we're going north east e- north east directly north east okay. from where you are right. so you're planning to go okay. just a little bit more north than e, uh, than than east. east, yeah. Right. So, okay, north northeast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll just say um, thank you and uh, uh, um, keep worshiping the light. And um, I'll turn back to Trevor and say, um, is there anything else you need? No, that should do it for now. All right. He's just a little frustrated at the whole situation there. That Toby just hands over the eight gold, but whatever. <laughs> He'll just start walking off. <laughs> All right. I start following. <laughs> All right. So both of them give you a slight bow, especially Yoto Biyashi, who's graciously given them money to help the villager. Let me know if I gave you the right amount, because I kind of lost track of when I was uh, minusing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's uh, eight gold uh, in total, so... Of Yashi, where is your money equipment? Uh, did you yeah, about that time once we get out of your shot? Just you know, Trevor, it, so. okay, yeah, about that time, you know, as we're walking back to you know the end, I guess, where everybody else is, you know, Trevor said to Toby that you know, churches are charity, we did them a favor, they need to do us a favor, you know, it, it goes both ways there, you know, but. Whatever, and just keep walking. <laughs> uh, Don't need I'd to like be to quite so giving at times, you know. You know, negotiate some. <laughs> well, why not? They are about to leave their home. If we are going to pick your decision, they'll need all the money they could get. Mm. Yeah, maybe. And I'll Let's continue see. to walk. Yeah. yeah, we got to see what everybody else thinks. You know, I'm just. One opinion. I don't know what you're thinking, but we'll see. Agreed. All right. So <laughs> you get back to the tavern where uh, Valtteri and audience uh, seemingly just finish talking, and so Valtteri and audience, you see Tobiashi entering as normal as normal gets for him. He just enters the inn, seems to be happy. You see Trevor just behind him, looking slightly. <laughs> well, no, just a, a little just, annoyed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he seems to be mumbling a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll say, that's uh, gone. <laughs> yeah. I just gone. <laughs> Basically, like, hey. Uh, uh, hi. Well, I got most of my herbs. I think I, I think Toby has enough of what. He had. I think I can get Tal back, but we'll see. So, what have you guys been up to? If I don't anything new. Uh, we were just talking. Yeah. Huh. Anything no, interesting? Nothing about the. Oh, uh, just thing. about our decision whether we thought we should stay or not. 
And do you come to a conclusion? Um, As he's standing there just kind of still annoyed, you know, just... Oh, I think we both decided we should stay. Really? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) All right. Before this gets any out of hand, no, just... um, (laughs) And about that time, soon as I'm like, and he'll look to Valtteri and you too. And since she's not answering, he'll look to Toby and like, well, did you come to a decision? Well, uh, me, honestly, I think we should keep our pace and take him with us. But on the other hand, they do want to stay at their home, but change is always a good thing. So they might need to leave. I completely agree with you. Then he'll look back at Val. I looked down at my breakfast and keep eating. <laughs> well, um, since we can't decide, um, I'll pull out one of the coins that we have for traveling to the garden. <laughs> and um, I'll say we could leave it to this if you guys want to. I'll put it on my finger like I'm about to flip it. Uh, let me see what... Yeah, okay. <sighs> so good. <clears throat> Looking to see if I had minor illusion or I might be able to influence the look of <laughs> <laughs> how it turned out, but no, I don't. But he'll say fine. I don't really care at this point. I'm annoyed enough as it is. So, all right. Um, you guys? I'm kind of like, eh, I really don't want to leave. I want to help. <laughs> I'm kind of like, I'm iffy on it. More. Yeah. Val, if you say that out loud, I'll be like, going to the Trevor center. will be like, okay, sell me on it, since I seem to be the deciding factor here, you know. <laughs> I, I keep sell eating my it. breakfast feeling can I roll? Can I roll persuasion on him to see if I can sell yeah, it? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll roll against uh, you on it, yeah. Keep the coin on my finger. <laughs> well, you can just roll pers- uh, persuasion, but if you manage to also role play a good persuasion, I might give you advantage. Okay. Uh, well, I'll... I'll go. I mean, I'll yeah. talk to him. And see I'll how you see how you role play it here. <laughs> yeah. So I turn to him and I'm like, okay. I don't know if you've ever grown up in a town, but I have. I understand how many people might have roots going back, you know, generations in a place like this. It's not so easy just to get up and leave. We don't know if they, if we cannot solve their problem, and we're not so pressed for time that we could not spend even a few days here just to see if we could figure something out to help them. And not only that, but we would be benefiting ourselves, as there are many unanswers here. We have, we have questions of ourselves. So I, all I see is a win-win situation where if we leave, I see a win-lose. It doesn't make sense. Well, not been one, not been. One much for family. I was actually an orphan, so that kind of falls on deaf ears. But I understand taking care of a, you know, of people in general. I did travel in a caravan, and it was a pretty tight knit community. So, how long a time you think, you know, are you looking to spend here? I think even if we can just spend three days, perhaps solve some answers for ourselves, and see if we can help them out in that time. I think would, and I don't think that would put us back too much where we would feel panicked about getting there. Where if we spent a week, perhaps that would be too long. But three days, I think we could manage. I don't know. You want us to roll on this? Uh... Oh, I would say, I don't know. If you believe that his argument is good enough, that the Trevor would accept, especially con- considering his past and the major event of his pasts. Um, he doesn't have to roll if you just say yes, but if you absolutely want this to roll, I'd say, do you believe he has struck a chord in your past to justify giving him advantage? Uh, I wouldn't say give advantage, but Can I would I... say you got, okay, agreed, three days. This is the first day. You have two more after today. All right. I'll agree right. to that. Okay. But we do not need a roll. <laughs> All right. Well, since that's happening, yeah. I put the coin back in um, <laughs> my bag, and I'll say, uh, well, um, 
since we only have about half a day left, I think we should start heading out, audience. I agree. We need to get to work quickly. Val, I'll turn to her. You ready to go? Sh- sure. Where are we going? <laughs> Gather the town. Uh, uh, okay. We need to. Well, actually, first, should we set out a plan for what we want to do within these three days? Yeah. We'll set, uh, we'll set out a structured plan and uh, see how we'll train them and um, get them used to fighting with a weapon. Well, I don't even know if that's the route we should take or if we should take a more direct route of just seeing if we can figure out more Trevor will really agree. He wants answers, so he wants to see uh, if we can figure out what the source of all this shit is. So, so he you're would, saying he would, he would agree himself. with audience and go in the more direct route. Alright, so we start looking for clues on where to find them, I guess? Yeah. So we should probably head back to the forest. It's probably our best bet. <laughs> yeah. Where perhaps where we left... We still knew there was some sap there. We could per- perhaps still pick up the trail of the elemental, maybe. Although it'd be old. Game. Yeah. Yeah. First, and Trevor will hold up two of the empty daggers that he emptied last night. Like, sure, you don't want any, Toby? They're emptied and free of any blood or any weird shit. So, just want to offer one more time before I bag them. Uh, I should be fine. Okay. Fair enough. Um, I'll say... Um, since we're going out for I don't know how many days, we should um, find somewhere where we could get some rations and uh, water so we could um, oh. not go through okay. what we went last time. Okay, since uh, what you say I got as far as herbs from them? Was it eight or nine golds worth? Nine gold worth that you paid eight gold. Okay. And did Toby have enough for the... He had enough for less two gold. worth. You know, it's okay. So yes, I'll, you have enough to cover. I'll take table. I'll take the one gold's worth out of them and give them the rest back. And they'll say before we do, I want to bring Tao back. And I guess at the end, he'll just sit in the fireplace and throw the stuff in there and spend an hour to summon him. And if right, you guys so. want to go scout ahead for a little bit, you can. Okay, let's at least uh, just head to the edge of the forest and see if we can maybe pick up the elementals trail. Since that's our kind of one glue that's still left from that other night. Yeah. And, uh, Valtteri, uh, you have an hour, meaning make a religion roll. <laughs> okay. What was my modifier? <laughs> okay. I didn't want to say this, but you kind of look like a vampire. <laughs> Just delighting. <laughs> Yeah. Right. <laughs> Who, me or Val? <laughs> this is starting Val. to be very easy no. to make bad jokes with all of these things. <laughs> I rolled a 17 yeah. and half a free on religion, so 20. And, yeah. 20. Um, all right. You do know, I'm not saying that you have to, but you do know that you have two spells that you could take that would entirely solve the problem of food and water. That is, yes. if you take good berry and create yes. water. I know that. But I wasn't even able today <laughs> to make my meditation to change my spells. But Trevor yeah, is Trevor taking one up, hour like, to summon Tau. Uh, so you have one hour for... Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Oh, we scout. Uh, uh, yeah. I'll just so Trevor will just spend an hour in front of the fireplace summoning and about after so, an hour and you I'll see freaking... A little owl walk out of the fireplace and materialize, and Tao is back. Yay. That's an expensive bird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Once we get a little bit later in levels, it'll become mundane. Ten gold won't be anything. Yeah. <laughs> it'll um, become very mundane. Mm-hmm. Talk to the audience and be like, so um, we're investigating the area, right? Instead of just looking around. Yeah. Um, so, I'd start looking, uh, where you got to the edge of the forest about 15 minutes, right? Or a half, 15 minutes? Uh, well, no, 15 minutes is where you had your fight. Uh, the actual edge of the forest is more 
three or five, three to four hours from where you are. Wait, didn't we? No, because didn't we run from the edge of the forest to reach the fight? No, you were already out of the forest when you started running. Okay, you followed okay. the trail of the goblins out of the forest for a few hours before you started hearing the screams. Okay. Well, we'll go right. to the goblins. We'll go try and pick up the go. I'm gonna go try and see if th we can pick up like the goblins trail again. So, do you wait for Trevor to finish his ritual? Well, we'll or? we're just gonna go like the 15 minutes to the uh, yeah. to where okay. we fought. And then just I don't have Belle with me too when we, you know, so we won't be alone there. She's waiting on me since she's doing her spells and stuff, so. I think mine takes not as long as yours, or does it? Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, how many spells can you have memorized right now? Prepare? Um, with yeah. or without the cantrips? No, cantrips, cantrips you don't, don't need to anyway. wear. You They're don't always need to, to Six. Them. Six? So I change two. I believe it's one hour, uh, not one hour, ten, ten minutes for um, every level of spell. So basically, you have in one hour, you're going to be ready at the same time as him with your new loadout of spell. Yeah, there you go. But I only changed two, so it would have four still yeah. the same. Yeah. Basically, it'll <laughs> only take you like 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah. All so right. you just. So for 40, you're just sitting there watching Trevor do his thing. Indeed, right. because I want Tao back. <laughs> so, Tobiashi and audience, uh, you have about 40 minutes also of waiting for Valtteri and Trevor to catch up with you. Okay, I'm going to investigate the area. Yeah, Chief we're going to really there. investigate the area. <laughs> All right, then you can e either each roll an investigation we'll give him advantage. Roll or give advantage someone. Yeah, I'll give him advantage. Oh, <laughs> I, I was okay. <laughs> I have the negative one, but sure. All yeah, right, the, the low intelligence character you're gonna give him. Okay, advantage. you know what? It was uh, it was good because I got an 18 okay. with my control, right. which is actually all pretty right. good. See, see, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll pass an intel check every now and then. <laughs> so you said you have an 18. Yes. All right. What exactly are you looking for? Um, the tracks of the goblins kind of right. trying to re-pick up their trail and just like all of them. Uh, well, easy enough. It didn't rain during the night, so you can easily find uh, the track. They have you running around the field for maybe 15 or 20 minutes. They were all over the place. Um, and you see uh, traces of uh, of the fight, uh, you even managed to see a bit of uh, the place where they jumped over uh, the stone wall that limits uh, the grazing field. So you're pretty sure you know from where they came, where they were going, and actually from everything that you've been investigating, um, you're pretty sure that there was a second group. Oh, can I tell how many number? Uh, with an 18, I'd say you believe there were between 5 and 10 in the in the second group. And how earlier, much earlier were they there before? At the same have... time. The, all the tracks seem oh. to have been made at the same time. There was a second group so hunting that night. Okay. They probably um. separated during the night to try and cover more ground. One of them. I'll tell Toby. Come. I'll tell Toby to come over and take a look at this. I'll be like, "Hey, Toby, come look at this." Okay, I I'll said, start think, to look for. I said, "I think there was a second group." I'll start for. I'll start looking for like, um, where there'd be like a centered mass of broken twigs, and then to where they would spread off into like, um, like broken twig mass over this way, and then one coming towards um, the clearing or the grazing field. All right. Uh, right now, you're in the grazing field, so you're still quite a way uh, away from the forest. So you might yeah. find broken branches from bushes, but not from trees. Mm. Um, yeah. So I'd look for that, like broken branches from trees and stuff like that. All right. So leading outside of the grazing field, um, I'd say that would be a bit more of a perception roll. 
Okay. I'll give him advantage. Okay. Sixteen. Sixteen. All right. Um, from what you can find and seeing where they left off uh, this grazing field, you easily find where all the track seems to um, to converge. And unless they took a radical turn somewhere. Uh, while they were going to the uh, to the village, uh, you're pretty sure you know where they came out of the forest. Mm. Um, but since it would take you a few hours to get there, um, like I said, you're not sure. But unless they took a radical turn somewhere as they were walking from the forest to the field where you are, um, you believe you know where they came out of the forest. Okay. So I tell audience, I'm like, um, from the looks of the branches and the footprints, they uh, should be coming from this area. And I'll point from where the clearing, or well, the, where I saw all the stuff from. And I'll be like, um, but uh, we should stay and wait for Trevor and I agree. Ralph Terry. Yeah, we're going to stay and wait. So oh. I'll just take that time, 20, 30 minutes. Um, yeah, you... Basically, you have to wait maybe 20, 25 minutes for them to uh, catch up with okay. you. Because 15 oh, minutes to get there, uh, 20 minutes to get there, find the tracks. And then you spend quite a lot of time investigating and trying to figure out uh, the field where you were. So, maybe 15, 20 minutes later, you see Valtteri and Trevor making their way from the... From the village. Okay. I'll kind of wave them over. Be like, hey, we found some stuff. Uh, we was, might have found the direction that they're heading. I was going to say make a perception roll, but anyway, you are going where they are. So. <laughs> yeah. We know the direction they were heading anyway. So, yeah. Trevor would say, hey, by the time Tal takes off and... No. He's back. Start circling us. Yeah. Yeah. Back. Oh, gosh. I wanted yeah. to pet him. Oh, uh, you had Gone. multiple occasions while you were walking there. Well, those two are bad. Pet him. <laughs> all right. So you have all gathered in the grazing field. Um, Tobiashi seems to have figured out where they came from. Hmm. Is yes. there anything you would like to share among yourself, or? Well, um, I'm going to uh, tell them about the second group, obviously. But, yeah, so you got a general bearing of which direction they were going? Yeah, they should have been going that way, and I'll point towards the direction. <laughs> toward okay. the forest. Uh, <clears throat> About that time, you know, Tal take off, start heading that direction to kind of scout ahead and then fly back. I will say he will go. I know he's only got a three a hundred yard range, so he'll go. He'll take some time while we're sitting there talking. He'll go about three hundred ahead just to try and follow the trail best he can, and then come back and tell me if it, you know, if he has, the, if he's able to keep contact with the trail or not. Okay. Um, while, we, while we take while we take a few minutes to talk here. Okay. Uh, I'd say perception roll. I'm gonna give him advantage because he knows what direction it is, and most likely. Yeah. He gets advantage anyway, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> I get double advantage. I get to roll a third time. No, unfortunately, no. Unless yeah, you have. That's luck. fine. No, that's fine because I got like a 19 anyway. So that's like uh, 19. He gets plus three, so 22. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, Tobiashi seems to have been spot on, and tracks are go tracks are going exactly where he say they were going. And as far as he was able to go, um, seems like they were going back to the forest, or came from the forest and then back there. Okay. All right. 
I'll talk to Bell Terry and be like, um, so where'd you learn how to turn into that creature? Um... I... When we were back then fighting uh, after the kobolds, I... I guess I had kind of a dream. Mm-hmm. And there were those two big wolves, one white and, well, silverish white and the other one black and I, I, I guess they kind of taught me. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I can also transform into other animals that I've seen before. Hmm. Not only into a wolf. <laughs> he turned into that. That was pretty badass, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Just needs more to clean herself up after the fact, but yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, can you turn into towel? <laughs> I mean, I, I won't be exactly what he is, but I can turn into an owl, how he looks like, yeah. Hmm. Okay. I'll just wait for Tal to come back down and uh, for Trevor to give us the news like he always does because he's blind and deaf right now. Yeah, yeah I'm just kind of just standing there in freaking limbo. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, I didn't make a connection with him. Tal was just flying, scouting on his own, and then he would just report back to me when he got back. So I'm okay, coherent. So let's start walking that direction. <laughs> All right. So you start walking toward the forest. Um, audience, Trevor, Valtteri, do you have any problem with that? Nope. It All just, right. It just follow along so, with whoever's leading. You just start Me. walking toward the forest. <laughs> uh, so right now it was about two, maybe two and a half uh, when you started uh, walking out of the, of the grazing field. Um, it's maybe three hours to get to uh, the edge of the forest and enter there. So you are getting, you are reaching the edge of the forest um, as the sun is starting to set. So the easy question is, are you going to enter the forest most likely at night? Or are you going to camp out and wait for the morning? Probably camp out. We don't even have tents. Uh, well, I don't know. I have a bed roll. A I bed roll? Me too. I could just transform into an animal and sleep, I guess. I don't know if that would work. <laughs> I'm fine with meditating outside. <laughs> I have a I mess kit. I, I mean, know, we're, like our huh? party's not really good at traveling at night. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I only got one. I in the dark am <laughs> the only person here that's good traveling yeah. at night. You guys. <laughs> All right. So yeah, as I this, my blanket up at the tent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do I have? Actually, I have a. We all have a blanket. We can make yeah. a big tent. Yeah, I have a yeah. bedroll. I have a. Yeah. We have ropes. Pretty much. That's all. Yeah. Pretty much everybody's got like, bedroll. You could like <laughs> use the ropes, tie them on the trees, and put the blankets above it to use it as. Yeah, a... just to cover us as the top, and we could put yeah. like leaves and bushes over it. I think we'll be fine. Yeah. We can set a fire. I get Unless we don't towel. want to. Let I'll get Tao to keep are. an eye out. He don't have to sleep, so he can watch all night. And... So, as best as you can tell, uh, there doesn't seem to be rain cloud coming in. And the sky is fairly um, clear. Uh, the moon will most likely illuminate very well. So, you can probably easily defend this position at the edge of the forest if you want to. Um, and you most likely won't need tents to protect you from rain and so on so it's fairly easy you could start a fire other than that uh, you can easily get ready for uh, to spend the night at the edge of the forest and in the morning just start exploring the 
the forest. Yes. Sounds Pile good. up a bunch of Sounds trees right. and Trevor fire bolts yeah. and start a fire. <laughs> All right. Um, I, I mean, I do have a tinder box. <laughs> Um, I also why do that when you have a cantrip, you know? <laughs> Actually, I'm going to try to set up the um, the blanket where it's um, not over us, but long ways um, towards the edge of the, the forest. So, mm-hmm. Well, no, like towards the edge of the forest, so like whoever's in the forest can't see the fire. Uh, yeah. Or I do guess, they see uh, the smoke still or smell the smoke? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Trevor would smoke. send Tao, I guess would try and... I would make the suggestion to, like, camp right up under a tree so I could perch Tao, like, right above us to keep an eye out, too, through the night. That's so just what Toby thinks. Some elevation. Okay. Um, I'd say everyone roll a perception roll. Yay. I give myself guidance. Mm, you are not aware of this, so I will not allow you to make guidance. Okay. That is a 17. 11. Right. Damn. Okay. That is two good rolls there. Let me check the sheet. Perception. That so was a 19 for Tau. And 19, 22, 21, 22. 22 for me. Okay. And Valtteri, um, what did you roll? I rolled a 16 plus 4 is 20. All right. Um, so uh, you're all s- you're all preparing yourself to uh, spend the night. The sun is almost completely set. You can see the last hues of gold and red you know, on the horizon. And uh, I'd say... So, uh, which one, uh, b- uh, between Trevor and uh, Tao, which one rolled tell, the highest? Tao, me, I did, Trevor, okay. yeah. Um, Trevor and Valtteri, you look around you and something feels weird. Hmm. I'm just following you. Well, hmm. I guess while Tal's keeping an eye out, he'll. Um, I guess he'll look to Val and say, Something doesn't feel right. Can you keep an eye out for a minute? I just want to see something. And he'll spend 10 minutes to originally cast Detect Magic while she's keeping an eye out just to see. Sure. If he picks up anything. I can All do right. that. Um. Tobiashi and off. audience, where uh, Tobiashi, you start nodding Wait off. Minute. Yeah, I was already starting to sleep okay. by the time this is happening. Actually, since we're getting ready to go to bed, I will. I actually have it prepared as a spell. I have the option to catch it. Ritually, I will just go ahead and cast it. So it's just a quick okay. cast. Okay. Well, in that case, this is going to be something slightly weird to see. You cast identify magic and. Yeah. They detect magic. And you look yeah. around you, and when your eyes cross over Tobiashi, you see something magical in a branch just above his head. And you s- start seeing the branch lower slowly. I'm just. The tree. Yeah. Toby's like doze it off. That will uh, nudge Val and kind of point at the branch to point it out to her. See if uh, she gathers anything. So the branch itself is moving, like the tree yes, is alive or something? Only the uh, branch, but you see something magical on it. And it feels like you're watching an open wound. The splash of magic coming from this branch feels like a gash made by something slashing. But it is just slowly coming down toward the head of Tobiashi. That's terrifying. I'm quickly, not really shouting, but saying loudly, 
Toby get away from there <laughs> and uh, 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 quickly walk uh, over to uh, kind of try to. Are you shouting out. so, like, I notice, or do my still not? If you're around us, you should hear I us. Mean, I'm should um, so I how far away is it from? How far away is Toby from me? I imagine fairly close. Uh, ten feet, maybe. That's oh. what I was going to say. Like ten feet away. I was about to say that I was uh, walking there, trying to get in between that branch and Toby. When I hear <laughs> Val say this, and I look over at Toby, do I notice it or not? Still, your perception was way too low. You don't notice anything. You just look and it just feels like you're watching at trees. There is a branch that is But I hear Val shout, get away from that. You you hear you hear her say that, but you don't see why she's saying All that. Alright. I'm still well, just to get since... I'm gonna like draw my sword and shield and kind of also start walking towards Toby even though I don't know what's going on, just because I like hear her say Toby, get away from that. Well, about yeah. that time, since I've seen that it's coming to Toby and most likely going to attack him or try and harm him at some point, he will well, just... Go ahead. I said before that I was, like, kind of then hovering over him to, like, kind of protect him. Valkyrie, as, yeah. you, as you do this and you approach, I would say... Oh, what would be that role? I'd say make an insight role. Mm -hmm. I still don't notice anything, right? I'm falling asleep. <laughs> no, you're mostly groggy, and Shoot. someone just says something, and you look around you, and no, you don't see anything. And out of a sudden, you see me, me hovering over you, and that is a 17 plus. 17? 21. 21. I have a foreign insight and I don't even and I'm not even proficient in it. <laughs> as you approach like this and just as you're about to put yourself between this branch lowering, you recognize this sort of motion. Is it the element? It definitely is something huge, but it feels like you're watching yourself as you're about to pet a creature. You're muted. I... Trevor, you're muted. No, he's oh, talking, talking to his wife. Okay, Someone. sorry. I'm trying to get a look at that creature. Like, trying to see if it's the elemental we've seen before. Alright. I'm gonna assume that Trevor is uh, distracted by what is going on. So <laughs> he seems to be talking to someone. Um... With the perception roll that you have, yes, you turn around and you watch where that branch connects with a tree. And you sort of make out a face on the tree. Two eyes. The face is sort of in a V shape mm -hmm. and the branches come out as if they were horns, but not exactly. They just really make a V shape. And you look at this huge creature which is sitting most likely but even sitting it is at least 18 feet tall and this massive branch just slowly come down and starts patting Tobiashi's head and Tobiashi this is when you realize that something's touching what the heck something's touching um, my head uh, uh. Uh, do I do, do I know what uh, if uh, like what uh, languages wild <laughs> elementals? Uh, um, well, stand? you know that most elemental can speak primordial. Okay. You don't. Do know they speak druidic? Yeah, dry druidic. Druidic. Um, yes. Well, I'd say you believe there is a chance that a okay. tree elemental would understand it. Um, um did, did the stick smack me in the head or did it no, no. was it soft? <laughs> it, it was, was very patting. soft. It is patting you on the head <laughs> as if you were a small animal. Uh I'll start putting my hand up like touching whatever hand it has and like try to like get from under it and look what the heck is petting me. 
And you can audience. As you see, like I guess about that time, Trevor will just hold a firebolt in case it gets too aggressive or anything. Right. You know? Yeah, audience is like, what, what's going on? Audience like is still like, like what, what's happening? Trevor, um, getting away from when what? The like, he's like connects, walking over. When the branch connects with Tobiashi's head, you do realize that that branch has been slowly moving. And you sort of have a better understanding of where it goes. And this is where it hits you. You're looking at a very large creature that looks like a tree. You can almost make out the face, which has a V-shape, like I said. And Valtteri and audience, you can also see another branch lowering and presenting something in front of Tobiashi. It opens and there's something inside the, uh, on the branch. Okay. Um, I mean, I'll stop. Like, I'm not going to attack it. I'm just, but I'm not also going to kind of be like, oh, okay, this is. Uh, I'm going to like ready myself. I'm going to be like, if this thing attacks us, can I try I'll speaking to? It? And, uh, you can try. See what he shows me. Uh, I, I'll try talking with it in Druidic. Um, uh, are you the elemental that kept protecting the town? You're fine. Um, so he doesn't respond to what you're saying. And Tobiashi, this... Did it present me? It presents you with a handful of acorn. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so excited. Uh, I'll look at him. Well, I'll look at the thing, the beast. And um, I'll um, bow to it and then take the handful of acorns. I'll think it was its hand. The hand is roughly the size of your chest. Okay, so I'll put my arms out and like get ready to. There, there's the only a handful of acorn in it. Oh, okay, okay, so my handful. Okay, okay. The, his hand is as large as your chest, but it only has a okay. handful of acorn in it. Well, we right. don't know whose handful. What if yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh, <laughs> your <laughs> handful. <laughs> your okay. handful. It doesn't okay. seem like it's aggressive at this point. I guess Trevor would stand up, take a few steps closer to it, just kind of get a closer look, see if it has any wounds or anything, see if it might have matched the ones that, you know, that had the tree sap that we were looking All at right. before. So, or anything. As you get up um, and watch this creature, Tobiashi, you hear... A very gentle voice coming from the tree saying in common oh good I wasn't sure you would actually like them I noticed that you often give those to Squirrel so I believe that you might enjoy them also <laughs> uh, 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 yes um it would. It's definitely um, appreciated. And as you all see this tree talking to Tobiashi, giving him a handful of acorn, this is where we're going to end this episode. Right. Woo! <laughs> a handful of acorns by a tree. Yes, a very <laughs> large tree. All right. Well, <laughs> it's kind of good we stayed. <laughs> and actually, it's also lucky because this event could only occur at sunset or sunrise. Jeez. All right, we'll see what he wants. <laughs> All right, everyone. So, I know we went a little bit over our time. Um,. Sorry for that. I was just hoping to finish this event as the stream would end. So, oh, yeah. um, thank you for everyone who has been watching. Uh, if you missed one of the past episodes, uh, every episode has been so far uh, downloaded to the YouTube uh, channel for uh, Dragon Memorial. Um, there's a link in all the panels uh, underneath uh, the window. Um, 
Also, I've uploaded the uh, modification to our resting rule on the Patreon page, so you can go there and watch. Um, and any bits of lore that you might be wondering about, this is where I'm uploading them. I will probably also start uploading the episodes on the Patreon page for those who mm. would like to follow it there. Um, so, and of course, with the Patreon, you can support us financially because, on the long run, this would be very useful. Um, also, would be useful for me uh, because I would be able to have a second group. So, um, as for supporting us hey. just morally, well, you can always follow us on YouTube, Twitter, or uh, on Twitch. It's always nice to know that you care or at least watch. So, thank yeah. you, everyone, and we'll see you again next Wednesday as we see how the encounter with this giant tree goes. Mm -hmm. See you next Good Monday. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Good morning. Good evening.